You're listening to Band Practice with Matthew and Krebs. Rock out with your cock out. <laughs> So we're here with Chris. Hi, Chris. Hello. So, so what do you do, Chris? Uh, I'm a stand-up comedian. Uh, also blind, I guess. I am blind. You guess you're blind, or you no, are blind? No, I, I am blind. <laughs> not sure. Not sure. <laughs> never sure. Fair enough, dude. People aren't sure. People are never sure. That's like the number one thing I get asked is like, dude, are you faking? And I'm like, who fakes being blind? Is that a thing that people do? A- a- assholes to a level that I've never been to. Never. No one's. No one's at that level. No one's faking. <laughs> what advantage is there? I. I nothing. I, yeah. Someone fakes being blind and then just hangs out and waits in in one specific spot and doesn't know where anything is. <laughs> like the only thing I get help with is like lines. I sometimes get to cut, and that's just because I don't know that they're there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I like you. I like it. So you, uh, you were telling me before you do, you do uh, like open mic nights for stand up. Are you on a rotation somewhere? Or? Uh, yeah, we do. Uh, it's all open mics and stuff anyway, right? Uh, even the book shows that like we we do. You see the same guys because Miami's such a small scene. You know? yeah. yeah, we only have like a certain amount of comics, so we all know each other super well. So. Uh, even the people in Broward and Fort Lauderdale, we all know pretty well. Nice. So where uh, where do you normally, or where's, where do you do the most shows at? Uh, uh, Taurus in the Grove, Coconut Grove, okay. on Thursday nights, and then uh, uh, Mondays at Red Bar, usually. Check out, like, MiamiComedy.com, I guess. That's not my thing. I don't know why I'm plugging him, but that's uh, <laughs> the official Miami Comedy uh, <coughs> resource or whatever. I think we want to I- laugh in Miami. I think I looked at, I think I was there cause, cause a, a, a couple months ago. I was trying to figure out, because I've never actually done comedy down here. I've done uh, some in Orlando. So I was like, I don't even know where the open mics are at. Like, excuse me. So yeah, I think I was on. Yeah, that's the best way. Monday. That's, uh, cause no, nothing is publicized here in Miami. No. Know? Like, like, especially for comedy, no one wants to do comedy. So the only way you know is sort of like, it's sort of like getting into shady shit. You just gotta know somebody and be like, "Hey, yeah, so where do, where are all the spots? Like, where are all the where are all the spots we can go to tell jo-? like it's like a clandestine well, almost, you know? Like, it's you just gotta pick up a copy of the New Times, and then go to the back pages, you know, before the hooker ads, <laughs> and then there's these sh- these local shows coming up. Because when I played in the metal band, we actually got we were actually in the the News Times like three or four different times, and we were like. Hey, did you guys know we were in the newspaper? And they were like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, the Miami News Times. Look at this shit." And it like plugged our show in there like randomly. Like, the, okay, <laughs> the New Times is actually how my parents found out I did comedy. I what? didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you hadn't come out to them that you were a comic? <laughs> I didn't tell them I did comedy for like my entire first year of doing comedy. I would just sneak out of the house and do it. Which sneaking out as a blind person. Pretty hard, all right. Just, just out the bat, you never really are sure you're safe, all right? <laughs> you know, or out. Uh, oh, no, no, <laughs> dude, you would just, you just sort of walk out of your house, and I, I would just be like, "All right, my ride's here," and uh, walk out of the house, and then just run down the street without tapping to the bus stop, and like, cause you know, you're like, I'm sneaking out. I don't have time to tap. I gotta run. Uh, and then it, I would literally run until I hit a car. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> it's usually just one park. Don't worry. It, the amount of dents I've put in people's vehicles, uh, for sure. So this is why you do not block the sidewalk when you park that, your fucking car. That's exactly why. That's literally <laughs> exactly why it's illegal. I didn't realize that. I was like, that's a stupid rule until I hit four of them. <laughs> in a row. And I'm like, you everyone, all everyone listening right now is one of my biggest pet peeves. I fucking hate when people do that shit. Only, only because I'm selfish and I want to ride my bike. But. No, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 fuck those people, dude. <laughs> I was one of those people till just now. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the other day, uh, my neighbor's dog got out and into my yard, and I spent 
20 minutes trying to find their doorbell to uh, <laughs> let them know that their dog was in my yard. Because there was a gate to the door. I would have just knocked, but I can't just knock on their gate to their door. It's not going to do anything for me. Well, it would have been safe to open the gate. The dog wasn't in there. <laughs> uh, I forgot. that. So I, I was doing comedy for a whole year, and uh, the, this guy from the New Times saw me and was like, hey, I want to write an article about you. And I was like, oh, okay. I haven't really been doing this that long. So I did the article, which is always sad when they're like, all right, so plug upcoming shows. And I'm like, all right, so I'll be at the open mic uh, tomorrow night. Uh, but I, I just, and they put it up and I didn't even realize it. My mom, I woke up the next day and my mom was like, so congratulations, I guess. And I was like, ah, all right, <laughs> like, I guess we got to talk about this now. Are they, do they, are they, are they disapproving? Uh, no, I mean, they let us park our school bus in the backyard. So they're, they've been as on board as they could be, but I try to have them not come to shows which has only backfired on me because they have now just Googled me and places put up my set. And my dad just <laughs> taunts me by uh, doing my bits in front of family members, just starts doing them. And I have That's to be like, messed up. I was like, could you not, please? Wait, is your dad doing a Carlos Mencia? He's just stealing your shit? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, so there's so many questions I have after that, that last statement, that last little story. Okay, yeah. so... You have a school bus. Yeah. Why? <laughs> he just drops uh, it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> your dad is, is Carlos been seeing your, 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 so, your mental and, property. And you're not good at segues. You just dropped the shit on us. <laughs> I am not good at segues. No one let me ride them, so I have no practice. You know? Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> all right, so I have a school bus in my backyard because me and two other com local comedians from South Florida, two of the guys I thought were the funniest motherfuckers in the world, we decided to buy a school bus. And we are going to turn it into a livable RV where we will be traveling across the country and getting into trouble and just trying to do stand-up and really just just see the world. You know, that's, that's their pitch. Their pitch to girls is they're like, yeah, we bought a bus for our blind friends so we can show them the world. That, 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 <laughs> and and the worst part is that pitch works so well for them but i tell girls i have a school bus in my backyard and they're like i'm not going over there <laughs> uh, it's your rape bus or whatever uh, i uh it's 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 so we are known as and you can follow us if you want to we've been instagramming all of our all of our misadventures in, in tearing apart this bus uh at, at Scheme Supreme, that is our name, and uh, our bus is the Scheme Machine, you know? Like, we just... Uh, I, dig it. I dig it. I dig it. I'm in. I'm sold. Yeah. It, I'm following you guys. That's it. It's going to be It's gonna be an event. Dude, even just building this has been an adventure so far. For the first three weeks, we went to the hospital twice. So... Uh, <laughs> Again, segues. <laughs> <laughs> it just... <laughs> Uh, just accidents, workplace accidents. It's a problem when I'm the OSHA supervisor, you know, the the, the safety inspector. <laughs> Jesus Christ. How much does a school bus cost? So we got super lucky, and we bought a 2003 school bus for $2,500. From where? In Orlando, from this lady who bought it so she could build a bus. So she could build an RV. So she... Not only bought the bus, it came, no seats were in it already, which was perfect. Yeah. What the fuck are we going to do with 30 rows of school bus seats? So so that'd be theater. an epic, that's a good one. Yeah. I, I would just have to, have to jerk off in, in each seat at, at some point, but that's about it. Uh -huh. So she had already done work and then sold it to us for a loss because she just gave up on the project. So uh, 2500 bucks. the school bus only had 95,000 miles on it when we bought it, which is less than most people's cars and it's actually considered a, a like a million mile motor so it doesn't it's not even considered broken in until 250,000 miles the guy we bought it from like or we bought it from a lady but we hired a like a actual mechanic to look at it before we just bought it okay like a diesel mechanic and he was like i would buy it for the tires alone guys all right like <laughs> he's like i would totally drive this across the country right now so it worked we we bought it we had to let it sit there for a couple months in Orlando uh, while we got it registered and everything. 
And then it drove down perfectly. We had no problems, which was the most stressful ride of my life. Because it was... My dad drove up with us because he has driven, like, trucks and stuff before. Okay. Uh, and they have never driven a bus. Uh, my other... My, my friends <laughs> who we bought the bus I actually with. could drive it. Uh, yeah? I wouldn't let him. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't let me either. But I'm just saying... Well... He, he, yeah. he, he went to trucking school and then he, he rolled an 18-wheeler. <laughs> yep. Oh, <laughs> that's that's expensive I was on, roll. I was on like no sleep. I was getting like running into the ground. But that's company, why they do but, meth, man. That's yeah. like that's like what I it's know, for. right? Uh, I lived in Indiana for four years. Like, I've, I never I never saw meth. That's like the meth capital of our, our fucking country. Never saw it once. So they drove <laughs> up with my dad and stuff, and it's just so it's it's me, my dad who don't really talk like that, and uh, three comedians in a car. Just cracking the worst jokes possible. Just like, I was like, so nervous. I was like, how is this going to go? Are we going to act super proper? Nope. Just just making terrible jokes the whole time up. And uh, Did your dad repeat every joke you said after you said it? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, echo, but he, echo, he engaged echo. more than I really expected him to, to be honest with you. I thought he'd be quiet the whole way up. And he really engaged with us. So that was cool. But, uh. We drove it down no problem, like from Orlando, which was, which is, and they both, my dad drove for 10 minutes and then was like, oh, it drives fine. Go for it, guys. And just let them drive the rest of it the way down. Did and, they let you drive? No, I, <laughs> not yet. Wait, and you not said yet. it, is it a two, 2003? 2003 school bus. That sounds amazingly new to me because I don't think I've ever been, it, I, I've never been in a bus that I thought it wasn't from the 70s or 60s or yeah, earlier. Right. It's a pretty new bus. It's a pretty new bus. And it, 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 it all works perfectly like it, it's surprising how g- the, the dominoes that have had to fall into place to get to the point where we're at now you were meant to do this that's that's exactly how we feel man Destiny. And, and we were talking we've been talking about this for years we've been telling people hey i'm gonna build a school bus i'm gonna build a school bus nobody believes you until you have a fucking school bus all right <laughs> and now every time i show them the bus i'm like they're like, that's way bigger than I fucking thought. I was like, I told you I bought a bus. And they're like, I didn't think it was like a bus. <laughs> a bus bus. What, did they think it was like a, a Chevy minivan or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, dude, aren't you guys only allowed legally in short buses? Like, isn't that? <laughs> oh, it's not, it's not nice. It's all right. I'm mad at the short bus right now. It got me here super early. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to think of questions to ask you when you got here. And I was like, blind comedian, what the hell do I ask this guy? So I have one bur- anything. <laughs> I have I have one burning question. Are the braille on drive through ATMs useful? Oh. Uh no, I just no. On okay. drive through okay. ATMs? On drive through ATMs no, is the no, braille useful? Not even I, 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 okay. I don't know braille though. Really? Oh really? I uh You're an illiterate blind? <laughs> You, like, I am an illiterate like blind. Extra handicap, dude. No, no, dude. No way. Braille's fucking useless, dude. <laughs> Braille isn't even sort of useful anymore. Really? It's 2019. I I have everything on my phone. It my talks phone to talks to me and stuff. I can read books. I have Audible. You know, like what do I need? I I've been blind for four years. Braille's never come up once. <laughs> you know, like not, not, like I haven't needed it. Sort of email me it. You know, I could take a picture of a printed document. And it'll read it to me. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's so many other things than Braille now. Like, technology, print media is dead anyway. You know, like, why are we we pretending, you know? Well, all physical media is pretty much dead now. Exactly. And we're probably, like, what, five, six years away from, like, Elon Musk, like, making you new eyes or something? That's what they all say, dude. Ten years. Everyone says it. They're like... 10 years, man, 10 years. I feel like no matter what point in history, your doctor was telling you 10 years. (laughs) You're in the 1800s. I don't know, man. 10 years, dude. 10 years. You're like, I'm not going to make it till tomorrow, man. (laughs) And and, uh, so so when when Matt was like, tell me about you, um, I felt a little bit better when you told me you went blind four years ago. Not, I I didn't feel good because you were blind, but it was like, I'm just happy because, okay, good. You've at least seen porn. Because that would be really sad if you'd never seen porn. Yeah. Yeah. it's all audio porn now, though. That's all I listen to, you know? Which is uh, audio porn uh, is just... Is that a thing? You no, know, it's a real thing, all right? It's just chicks uh, masturbating on microphone where, you know, 
they pretend that like they're coming, and I pretend like they're not fat. <laughs> <laughs> Some of their names are ridiculous, you know. Like I heard this one, like her name is like heart damage, and I'm like, are you telling me about your cholesterol right now, and you're using her name? Like, <laughs> or did she actually get like fucked by horse cock and she like, all the way up there? Like that, that's yeah, literally my... heart damage from that. I was trying to think of like question to ask, but all I could think of was. I went out with this girl once, and we went to see the movie Ray about Ray Charles, and like we were. Who? Yeah, I'm just. Gonna... <laughs> I don't know. Um, some black guy. Yeah, some black guy. <laughs> but uh, so like after the movie, I told her like, man, it, isn't that kind of weird? Um, because I I noticed this trend that like when they make a movie about you, you either you're either dead or like you die like around that time. Um, like oh, I'm trying to think. Um, uh, like uh, <laughs> Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, Douglas Adams, like he died before they actually finally made a movie of a book that's been great um, for like decades. But um, so we're like out of the theater talking about the movie, and and I told him like, yeah, and he died like not that long ago. Um, and I was actually trying to segue to a joke about you know, D- please don't make a movie about me because I don't want to fucking die. And she goes, oh, that's so sad. He died. He never got to see it. And I just sta- <laughs> and I just stared at her for like thirty seconds, and I waited for her to get it. And she goes, "Oh my god, I just said that." I'm like, yeah, yeah, you said that. So what's wrong with that? This is the same. You're the reason why. When I go, dude, I just saw that movie. They go, "Did you really see it?" And I'm like, "What the fuck? Do you want me to change my entire vocabulary since I went blind? I'm not allowed to say I saw things anymore." You know, like, oh, I'm sorry, I went to the movies. You're right. I heard the new Incredibles movie. It was awesome, you know. Like, uh, it's it's silly. You so, so you do you do go to movies and watch mo- movies and stuff, or yeah, it's a great nap areas. They're great nap. Okay. Uh, no, I like I like to go to movies and stuff. I try to like you know I'm pretty much the same. I still watch TV and stuff. You know, like I don't only listen to podcasts. <laughs> like that's uh, I do listen to an unhealthy amount of old radio. That's oh. for sure. Uh, you know, it's funny you mentioned Ray Charles. You know, for the first straight up year uh, I was doing comedy, this one place brought me up to Superstition uh, by Stevie Wonder. Okay. And for about eight months, I actually didn't even realize I was by Stevie Wonder. Okay. <laughs> I was just like, this is a good song. I'm glad they picked this for me. <laughs> and then I realized it was Stevie Wonder, and I was like, oh, all right. Other song choices from them included Blinded by the Light. <laughs> and I can, and I can see for miles. Oh. <laughs> was it? Is that real? Or are you just making a joke? No, that's a real thing that they wow. picked. Yeah, that's a real thing they picked. Now yeah. I go up to Gucci Gang exclusively. No, really? Just... <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, what other? What like so? So you went blind four years ago. So you saw perfectly before that, or pretty, like, pretty, was there an accident? Pretty, or? pretty perfectly. So I, I, well, no, not even. Uh, pretty perfectly from one eye. I had. So I was born with like birth defects on my eyes and stuff. Okay. So from God, God hate you from the get go. From the get, dude, I was. I should have been a dumpster baby. All right, let me let me be honest with you. I was born with. They couldn't even see my eyes. If I was in another country, there was like these balls over my eyes. They would have just been like, "Oh no, it's a do-over, baby." You know, it's just like, "No, oh, you gotta, you gotta start over." This one doesn't have eyes. Uh, so l- lucky to be not born in Sparta. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I say that all the time. That I was definitely born in, in the right place at the right time. You know. Um, so I was born with these birth defects, and I had my first fifteen surgeries. Before I could even remember having them. First 15 surgeries. Before I could Jesus. even remember having them. So I, I was sort of don't even remember them, you know? Jesus. And then in seventh grade, I had my first retinal detachment in one of my eyes, which the retinas is the part of your brain that processes the yeah. image and puts it to your, to, you know, pro- takes the image to your brain. Your eye sees it, your retina takes it to the brain. So uh, I have, we always knew that my retinas were weak or whatever. So I had my first detached retina and I, in seventh grade. And then from seventh grade to when I graduated high school in 12th grade, I had another 15 surgeries. Wow. Uh, where I had to do things like, I was just always in it. Like in seventh grade, I had to do school from, from home, uh, like over the phone school. 
over which the was phone. the worst. Wait, all right, all right. I say that now. Looking back, I had a pretty good life. All I did was play World of Warcraft all day and jerk off. That's like the only like, which is a seventh grade like a seventh grader's dream. You know, like I would just do class and I would just be playing WoW and jerk. Like I had to do over the phone PE. What the fuck? <laughs> How does that even work? It, which this is, let me tell you, oh, it, it's just push my coach ups. coming in, being like, "How's it going, Chris?" And me jerking it off in the corner, like ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fuck PE over the phone. What the? Th- I had to do phone drama. That was the uh, worst. Just us reading from a book. Oh, Macbeth. <laughs> like it was that's not. It's ridiculous. It, it was ridiculous, dude. It was ridiculous. And uh, the longest conversation I had in phone school was this girl was like, "So how long are you in for?" Like we were in prison, you know. And I was like, oh, "I only got like six months left. I just got this eye problem or whatever." And she's like, "Oh, that's cool." I have cancer. I was like, oh, you have a life sentence. (laughs) 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 You're institutionalized. I shouldn't talk to you. (laughs) She's going to be doing phone school forever. Yeah. So I, uh, I, uh, had to do, yeah, I was just always in and out of hospital, but, uh, I was pretty like with that, I ended up being pretty normal. Turned out anyway, because of like, all I did was, play video games at the time so it didn't really matter dude i'd come home after a surgery and i'd be like the first thing i would do is i'd hop on my computer to play a video game which was always the worst idea in the fucking world after you have a major eye surgery sounds like you're like at a screen yeah yeah you're like dude by 45 minutes and i was like sorry guys this is a bad idea i gotta go and they're like we're in the middle of a game and i'm like i don't care like like uh yeah so i just like met like normal like gamers and stuff and so it would just be us talking shit every day after school or whatever playing games all night you know so it's just like sort of made me way more like social you know so did you know like all right so um i i have or had an uncle who um has uh had horrible scoliosis and he knew that one day he's going to be in a wheelchair. He just knows that. He just knows one day it'll happen. He's worked out. He's done everything that he could do. And he saved, like, so much money. He's a doctor, so he was able to sock away so much money. But he knew he knows one day he's going to be in, in a wheelchair. Did you, like, kind of know one day, like, you were headed this way, like, blindness? or? Um, I should have known. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Because when you talk about it, it seems like... like I mean, we know the outcome, I, but it seemed like so you headed that way. I had... W- all of most of my eye surgeries from that period were like 12 of them were on one eye specifically. And uh, the other eye was like going strong or whatever. So I didn't really like I was studying for my driver's test. You oh, know? damn. And uh, do you still have your license? No, I, I never even got, you know. Oh, no, damn it. Could no, that be awesome no. just to have it? Yeah, well, it would be pretty sweet. Be like, yeah, I got a driver's license. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I, uh, so, and then one day in sen- senior year of my high school, I was, like, hanging out with a friend, and I, like, roasted him for something, and he tossed his high school transcripts at me. Next day, I was blind, uh, uh, which I went blind for about a week, and they fixed wow. it, and then I got, like, six more months of usable vision, and then I was completely blind by my freshman year of... Like did, college. Did did you use those six months to beat the hell out of your friend? No, 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 no. Do you no. still talk to him? Yeah, yeah, we're cool. We're cool. We're best Please tell me you give him shit every day. I, like, I, I, I try to, man. He just gives it right back. I'll be like, dude, you blinded me. You got to take me here. And he's like, dude, I'll do it again. You know? Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking do it again. Yeah. Yeah, right. it doesn't so even that's work. A, that's a good friend. That's a good friend. Yeah, no, we're, we're good friends. And people are always like, did you kill him? Or I'm like, nah, man, like, we're, we're, we're boys, you know, like it's not, it wasn't his fault. It was, it wasn't what he meant to do. This kid has no aim at all. You know, like he has the athletic ability of a gerbil. <laughs> like he doesn't leave his house. He, yeah. There's no, there's no, um, it was, it wasn't malicious for sure. So, uh, did you finish college or no? <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand if you finished college in this room. <laughs> no, Nobody. No, I, um, I stopped going after I went blind, and uh, well, obviously, you know, you take a little time off, and at that time, I just was like listening to podcasts and stuff, like comedy podcasts or whatever, and um, I 
I, and it was always something I, when I was a kid, I wanted to do it. But it's sitting in the, in sitting in literally total darkness, just listening to podcasts, being like, "What the fuck am I gonna do?" I realized I was like, "I want to do stand up. I want to just like that. That's that's something I can really do entirely myself. You know, like it's just that's all you. Yeah, it's just me. You know, it's 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 almost the only thing that I may have even sort of the closest like thing to being rewarded off merit. You know, uh, so I started doing. I decided I want to do stand up. I started writing, and then like three or four months into me being blind, I went up on stage for the first time, and uh, I realized I wanted to, that's the only thing I've ever wanted to do. Like I'm all, that's that's the goal in life. I don't want to do anything else. I feel like, and I've been doing it for four years. Ever since, yeah. I feel like being blind on stage creates a whole new dynamic between the crowd and you. Like I know from being a musician and, and playing a bunch of bands and going on stage, like you can you can. Feel the crowd's energy, good or bad, and, and you see their reactions. And seeing the reactions, you know, will motivate you to either do better or be like, okay, fuck this. And so you don't have that unless, so like, unless they're actively booing you. Do you, I mean, can you, I mean, I mean oh, I'm sure I, there's still a pressure on stage. I can feel stage, a bomb. But, <laughs> you know, like I can, I can still feel a healthy bomb. Yeah. But uh, no, I can, I can feel their energy out and stuff. Dude, I can even tell if they're laughing sort of sympathetically you know yeah. and then i'll just switch up and hit him with like darker whatever stuff you know like uh but i, I that's like the first thing i tried to do was like i don't want those sympathy laughs so i was like i gotta write jokes that fucking go past that you know or yeah. you gotta pull out the cuban egg roll yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah dude <laughs> just take my dick out on stage be like this isn't the bathroom <laughs> dude you know- <laughs> You know, people hit me with shit like that all the time. <laughs> They're just like, dog, dog, why don't you just go on stage and just do your whole set facing away from the crowd? Because <laughs> I would hear that they're behind me, all right? Because that's why. Oh, shit. Like, dude, it'd be so funny if you just, like, went out and wore a st- stupid shirt and you didn't know it. <laughs> but I would know it, you know? like Because I put it on. Yeah, yeah. Like, or, you, or you could go out and start your set, like, with your back to the crowd. And, and then when they start like, yelling, oh, oh yeah, yeah. You turn around and be like, I'm blind. I'm not stupid, you fucking assholes. Or you think I didn't know you were here? I heard you. <laughs> Make them feel bad. It's, it's, <laughs> no, yeah. It's a fun thing. I love doing comedy. And people, people's reaction to the blind guy is always like, no fucking way. What? What the fuck? There's a blind person here? And people are always like, the question, they're always like, are you really blind? Like, like that's nuts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a question for you. Um, are you really blind or are you faking oh, yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> so, so of all the shows you've done so far, which one do you think has been your, your, your best one? Like, what, do you, what was your favorite? I, uh, there's so many, man. There's, it's, there's so many good, funny things. Like, I did, a, I did a really good one at a strip club, and that was cool. Um, you want to hear the best crowd interaction story i ever had yes yeah i do now, yeah, uh, I, do now. Yeah. I, I had i was at you ever uh you ever done churchill's when yes you, oh yes. yeah fuck yeah i, I miss churchill's honestly churchill's I is fucking great man I still, I, I still follow on facebook i'm like oh that was a good show i just missed damn they, it. they'll let anybody on stage man they really will <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> literally i've done state i've done shows there with a homeless person nodding off on the stage oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah steve's nice I like, <laughs> I <like you. laughs> um so we have you ever seen their bathroom? <laughs> no, no, no. I Luck, won't even go lucky in there. Lucky you. I won't lucky even you. That's go all I'm saying. In there, fortunately, dude. fortunately, yeah. Let's start plugging Churchill's, yeah. Yeah. dude. Just because like bathrooms are the worst to me. I'm not. I'm not like feeling around looking for stuff. I'm like, I'll wait till I get home, man. You know, like <laughs> really, because I would just pee till I heard splashing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was at Churchill's and we're doing the show, and I'm doing an all right set, and I guess uh, at one point I go. Like, oh, I'm single, obviously. And this girl yells out from the crowd. She goes, yeah, obviously. And uh, before I could even respond, this guy in the back of the room goes, don't worry, bro. She's fucking fat. (laughs) (laughs) And for the rest of my set, all I hear is, who is who said that? Who said that? Come on, let's go, motherfucker. And I'm just like, hold on, hold on. I got to tell some jokes still. And we went out and shook that guy's hand later. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you point anywhere and just go, that guy? <laughs> you should have pointed straight into the crowd and be like, yeah, that guy. 
Dude, it was it was nuts. Have you ever like I don't know considered um, doing like some I don't know some sort of like advanced plan joke where you call out things that there's no way that you could know if you're blind, but it's because a friend told you, and then you sort of like fuck with the crowd that way. I did uh, the other night. I almost uh, that sounds like a lot of fun. They were all roasting this guy in the audience for being in a wheelchair. And I went up and I was like, yo, is there, is there a guy really in a wheelchair? And he was like, ah, yeah, I'm right here. And they're like, I was like, dude, how'd you, how'd you get in the wheelchair? He's like, oh, I was, I, was, I was hit by a car. And I was like, dude, I haven't even been hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying it's your fault, but it's sort of your fault. <laughs> Damn it, that's good. Yeah, yeah, like. <laughs> Oh man! I, they're always like, "Dude, Chris, you got to do more crowd work. You just got to ask them what they're wearing and then roast them for it." You know, <laughs> like it's like, what are they going to describe themselves as? You know, like what do I, what do I, what would I have to work off of? They're like, what are you wearing? Oh, red shirt. Fucking, what are you, a fucking Kool Aid man? <laughs> like, I can't. Like, that's not. Or just assume what they're wearing and just be belligerent about it. No, no, you're wearing a skirt. No, I'm not. Yeah, you fucking are. Like, yeah. don't, don't argue with me. I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> My reality? You cannot tell me what my reality is, okay? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done any psychedelics? I've done all of the psychedelics. Have you? All of the psychedelics? Most of them. <laughs> I've done uh, mushrooms, acid, and DMT. Yep. Uh, yeah, those. So you listen to Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. Uh, I am a fan. But, like, but I'm more of a fan of, I gotta know, you know? I gotta know what it's like. Uh... I don't want to be limited in anything I do anymore. I was super limited for a while. I was in and out of hospitals and stuff. It's crazy. I went blind and I was like, all right, cool. I'm done with the surgeries now. I'm done. Like, I'm done, you know? Like, I haven't had another surgery since it. I mean, I broke my arm, but that's because I was a dumb blind guy uh, and I fell. But, uh, you know, like, I, I don't have... I don't want to be limited. It's not holding you back anymore. No, it, it, no yeah, nothing holds me back. Uh, nothing holds me back anymore. So I did mushrooms the first. I did, you know, in natural progression style. I did mushrooms, and that went okay. I liked that. I did, I did an eighth of shrooms. Didn't see anything. I don't see anything. Uh, so you're like, oh, you don't see anything. Right, yeah, fuck so, it, fuck so, it. so what's the rest of the experience like? Cause... So it's all super introspective. You okay. know, like very... You get a lot of very introspective thoughts and stuff like that, and your brain's sort of racing. And you get all, all the other senses are heightened as fuck, too. You know, yeah. everything else is turned up to 11. I've said, dude, sometimes when I'm fucked up and tripping, it's like darkness is HD, dog. All right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, I didn't realize the dark could be so bright, you know? Like, uh, but. Is that, is that going to be your, uh, the title of your uh, Netflix special? <laughs> <laughs> the dark could be so right. <laughs> <laughs> I uh but so then you're like well you got to do more you know you got to you got to figure out like you didn't see anything off an eighth of shrooms let's try a tab of acid so we we uh we go to go see Bill Burr one night we drive up to Daytona oh, nice. to go see Bill Burr I'm jealous I haven't yet uh it was amazing it's a bit, dude we saw Bill Burr during the Daytona 500 that he was there to see. Okay. And, and just a, a crowd full of really white, conservative Daytona people. And he was dancing with them. Dude, just, just towing the line of, of, like, of, of, like, them wanting to, like, you know, just towing that line of, like, hey, I'm, I'm sort of making fun of you guys, but you guys are fucking with me. But I know if I went too hard, it would turn, you know? Yeah. Uh, so and he's good at that. We we that. take a tab of acid like an hour <clears throat> before, and I, I we start tripping by the show and it's a great show. I fucking love it. It was amazing. Nate Bargaski open, killed. So funny. I was like, felt like I was strapped to my chair. The energy in that room, you know, just just waves of laughter hitting me all the time. But no visuals still. Still no visuals. So we get back to the. We get back to the little Airbnb we're staying at. We're still tripping hard. And uh, me and my boy just start talking and stuff because he wants to know about everything that's going on. And, uh, and I was like, 
But I, I, you know, you guys done acid or whatever? Any? Of, I have, yeah. yeah. I haven't, yeah. Uh, you know that you're sort of always stuck in your head when you're on acid, right? You know? Like, that's a pretty... Yeah. You got a lot of thoughts that you're sort of stuck in your head? I've, I, I've done it with a friend. We were lying on, like, a... Uh-uh, on a towel in his backyard, and we wanted to talk to each other. We just couldn't. Yeah, yeah. You sort of get stuck in your head. Well, that's what being blind is like. <laughs> You're just sort of always stuck in your head. So I was like, I don't know, dog. This is cool and all. Like, I feel things. But this is pretty normal to me. Okay? <laughs> this isn't that crazy. So he was like, well, I got this DMT here. And I was like, can you do DMT on acid? And he was like, I don't see why not. So the first time I ever did acid, I also smoked a bunch of DMT oh, and got pretty close. I didn't break through or anything. I still haven't. I don't think DMT works on me. I've done it three times since then. And uh, I don't think it works. But the craziest part about DMT is, uh, you know, you're sort of supposed to pass out and go into this, this dream state or whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's only supposed to be 10 minutes, but it's supposed to feel like forever. <laughs> yeah. You, you sort of get knocked out and you're supposed to hear these like buzzing or this, this low tone or whatever. I sort of heard that and I got close to passing out. But I, all I could think about was the fact that it sort of just sounded like every other time I had gone under for surgery ever. Oh. Yeah. I was like, uh. I'd been there before too. Every, every, I'd done, you know, because I have my first 18 years of my life besides weed. The only drugs I did were the ones prescribed to me. And uh, then I started doing recreational drugs. And I'm like, yo, these are very similar. <laughs> like, like, a lot of these are pretty similar, dude. I, I hope you didn't overpay. <laughs> so, yeah, the DMT doesn't work, but I love acid. I, 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 do, you? I do acid a good amount. And I, that's why I ask, because um, you know, those things are all, all about the visuals, but you can't have them. So what, what, is, everything, what is everything else like? like it's, it's Music sounds way better and stuff, obviously. And I even sort of get these tactile, like, almost hallucinant feelings, you know? Yeah. Like, we'll, like, almost squigglies on my, on my, like, legs or what, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah. Sort of. Tingle, well, tingles and shit vibes. All, all shit that people, if they've never heard, are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Bro? If they've never tripped or whatever. Well, I got, um... Uh, a- Particularly good uh, acid trip. Uh, a friend of mine started playing music, and and my limbs started jumping to it. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. Oh, that's yeah. not that's not me. And it was a good song, so I didn't mind. But so yeah, it, there's a lot physical, but that's all you have to focus on. So that must be interesting. I like going to. Uh, I'm a, I, I go to a lot of concerts and music festivals and stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'm a big fan of tripping at those and stuff, especially at stuff like that. Because let's be honest here, I'm always getting driven around, even if we're not in a car. You know, like. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm just sort of attached to someone. So I can be fucked up as, like, you know, <laughs> anything, you know? You will, never, you will never be the You'll never be the DD. I'm ever. never the DD, <laughs> no. That's why people, if they order shots and somebody's like, no, nah, I'm good, they all just look at me like, you're taking them, pussy. Like, I'm like, all right. <laughs> They're like, you ain't got to be anywhere. <laughs> Ow. But I like, I like going to, uh, I like tripping at concerts and things like that. I think that's a cool environment. And uh, it really, like... It really lets you in, in, in fully engross and in, 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 in like immerse yourself in whatever situation you're in, because you have to be all, like in it, you know, because you're tripping hard. Yeah. So you sort of have to like feel vibes, and, and you, you you generally want to leave anywhere you don't feel good at, you know. But music festivals is all love and vibes, so you're just like, I'm cool here and stuff. I'm doing a beer grab. Anybody? Yes. Yeah. All right. So do you ever? So what kind of what kind of bonuses do you get out of being blind? Like, do uh, the, do people treat you differently? Like you told me you told me that earlier on the way back here that uh, people are super nice. Like when when uh, he lets you skip the line to get to this comedy club, you and your boys like yeah, like a line of two hundred people or something. It was like, super egregious. I would never do it, dude. I would have just waited in a line like a normal person because that's how I want to be treated. But my friends like, no, no, no. We're using your blind privilege. So they just went up to the security guard and they're like, yo, uh, that guy in a wheelchair sort of just skipped the line. And he's like, they're like, so you think he could do it because he's blind? And they're like, no, he has to do it because of an elevator. And then uh, they looked at me again and they're like, I don't know, fuck it, dog. Try it anyway. You know, like, and we, we walked past like a five blocks of people. I felt really bad. But 
people are very nice. It doesn't matter what I'm doing. Somebody will be like, oh, do you need help? Like, I'll just be waiting for a friend of mine on the corner. And somebody will be like, oh, do you need help? I mean, most people pass me by. But, like, you know, good Samaritans. I try. I, like, I used to take the train a lot. So people would always help me. And I'd be like, dude, I know where I'm going. Because, like, I'd have the trains memorized. Okay. But they would still just try to try to help me. So you ever just let them help, even to a point. Where, oh, <laughs> let dude, them, let them feel better because I, I really feel like most people help because it's it's not about. Oh you. no, it's their good day for the. It's their good deed for the it's, day. It's about yeah. them feeling good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. yeah thank you. Uh, yeah, it's it's a hundred percent just their good deed for the day. I mean, don't get me wrong, I appreciate it, but sometimes I'm like, I'm going to the stairs, and they're like, "No, the elevator," and I'm like, "No, I'm going to the stairs," and they're like, "No, the elevator," and I'm like, "I could take the stairs," and they just throw me in a fucking elevator with. 30 people and i'm like thanks a lot dude i really appreciate you because like <laughs> you just don't think i can do anything you're just like i try to assume i try not to assume that anyone helping me walk down the street is a homeless person but it's hard like, <laughs> you can't smell it <laughs> sometimes I, I think they're homeless and i want to give them money and i'm like you can't just give a person money for helping you because you're like what if they're not homeless? <laughs> and you're just like, hey, hey, here you go, man. Thanks. You really need it, man. You really, you're like, what? I really feel like you should just live the rest of your life and assume every female you talk to is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think that'd be great. I basically interact with females like they're pregnant anyway. I try not to hurt them or anything. I'm like, I don't need to get me too uh, just for accidentally going to grab for something and grabbing a tit. That's not my, that's not my goal. But actually, I would love to know though. Could your disability overcome the Me Too? Oh, uh, that's like an unstoppable. I'll try. Because <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like what, what, uh, an unstoppable object. Why this could keep before. Cosby out of jail? <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. Cosby wasn't that funny anyway. That's true. Oh fuck! <laughs> fuck you, dude. He's hysterical. I grew up in that shit. But um, I, people, people. I had a guy. He was helping me. I was super lost, actually. And it was, uh, he was helping me. And uh, we were walking to the train station. He was like, you smoke weed, man? And I was like, I smoke a lot of weed. And uh, <laughs> he was like, oh, here, you want to? F- here. And he just hands me a joint. And I was smoking it. And I was like, smoking it. I was like, man, I really shouldn't just be hitting things from you on this train. <laughs> in retrospect, this is I not was a like, good idea. I was like, I don't care right now, right? Like, in this moment, I'm going to smoke this joint with him. But and hope it's hope it's not something else. <laughs> I, I, dude, I went to a music festival and uh, it was loud. And this dude comes up to me and he just puts a starburst in my hand. And uh, I sort of heard my friend say something to him, and I, I couldn't really hear because the music was super loud. It's just like bah, 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 bah. you know, like uh, yeah. so. I am just fat, so I throw the piece of candy in my mouth. And later on, an hour later, we get out of that set, and I can finally hear people again. I know, and I hear my friends talking, and they're like, you didn't eat that candy, right? And the, my other friend goes, no, nah, no, nah, of course not. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I was like, I totally did. And they're like, well, have fun. <laughs> <You> know, like, <laughs> Buckle up. Yeah, yeah. Let us know what it is. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It was just inedible, luckily. Oh, okay. I was really high, though. And sometimes when you're really, really high, especially on edibles, especially when you don't know what the edible is you just ate, because it's just a starburst. I, I was super high, and I was like, I definitely had moments where I was like, "Am I tripping right now?" Because I can't see anything anyway. I was like, "Am I just tripping out?" Like, just really, really high, which is good because I was like, "No, I wouldn't have been that mad if I was tripping," you know. But I would have just been like, "I was planning on doing acid tomorrow," you know, like <laughs> totally disrupted my schedule. Yeah, you're ruining my schedule, man. So funny. So, have you ever have you traveled anywhere? Have you been anywhere? Have you just always been in Miami? Or yeah, I did. I've been to Denver and stuff. You okay. know. Um, oh, oh, my! I got family that lives up there. My brother lives up there, so I go out and visit him occasionally. And I tried to do stand up and stuff. That was one of the worst places I ever bombed. I did stand up in Denver in a Philly cheesesteak place, and uh, I was just too high on edibles, and I was just, <laughs> I was like, I gotta get out of here. This is such a weird vibe. Two old people were just eating a Philly cheesesteak, watching me do jokes. I was like, Nah, I'm I'm done. <laughs> like I did two minutes and just left. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, all right. So you know, edibles is sort of hard. I, I got this like sur- like syringe full of wax. 
uh, which is just like edible wax or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And the whole thing is like a thousand milligrams. You just put a little, you're supposed to put a little dab on your tongue, like a little drop. I uh, right before a show, like an hour before, I went to go put a dab and I accidentally dropped half of the cartridge into my mouth. Oh god! Oh. And well, was violently high on stage. <laughs> <laughs> was just like I couldn't do jokes. I hadn't done it in like a week, so that was already fucking with me. And I just went on stage and just was like, it was in a warehouse. I was like. I'm getting off. <laughs> like, I was like, I can't do this right now. I was too high. So you mean you didn't overdose and die? Not on, not on weed. No. No. I haven't overdosed. You can't. <laughs> you haven't overdosed on weed? No. I can't you, overdose on weed. Not according to Jeff's, Jeff's Sessions. Jeff Sessions, yeah. He says you can overdose. And, and, and no good people do weed. Yeah. Good people don't do weed, bro. Yeah. I'm not a good person, so I, I, uh, <laughs> I only... Hang- but, you're, but you're in good company. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I only ever hang out with garbage people, so... No, I, I, they're all great. Like, people... The craziest thing is, like, me and my two friends are two of the more dirty, let's go with, acts on the scene, degeneracy. Okay. Uh... We're all we're all sort of on the similar like we all what we think is funny. We're all sort of synced on that, you know. Okay. Uh, and it's all just like offensive stuff, and it's like these guys are building a bus with a blind person, you know. Like, <laughs> you know? like well, how much well, leeway does that buy us? That's what we're that's what we're fucking banking on. Well, realistically, it's from, such from, a motivational feel good story, and then we're pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, from, so you're kind of zeroing out here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, from the beginning of the story, I really feel like they're only doing it to get laid. <laughs> no, they, that, that was my first thought too. <laughs> no way, we're not getting laid on this fucking bus where we live with three dudes, dude. No way. You mean you're not? You're not. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Don't worry. They're they're all fat yeah. <laughs> and pregnant. Yeah, yeah pregnant. dude. No, it, it's it's gonna be awesome, man. We're gonna see what kind of trouble and stuff we can get into for sure. So and, are, are you guys going to keep up the Instagram after you build the bus and keep going? The, the, dude, I mean, because yeah. I'm, I'm totally online presence is, is the key, right? Because let's find them. I'm, I'm finding you right now and following that shit. Dude, dude that sounds hilarious. There's probably like, some stuff. Yeah, man, we, we do some silly things. That's great. I'm all about I'm all about silly and fun. Like, it's stuck, a great story. I love it. Why we started this podcast just because fuck it. Yeah. yeah. Scheme Supreme. Scheme Supreme. Our license plate says scheme on it. So no, we, we got to offset that a little bit. So we're talking about having like blue lives bumper stickers in the back, blue lives matter bumper stickers and stuff. Yeah, you know, just to confuse them. You know, just an American flag hanging from the top and a handicap sticker in the front, just like really <laughs> confuse them. They're like, are these guys degenerates or great people? Like, um, have a Confederate flag in the back <laughs> when well, you- we're in the South. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> scheme Scheme Machine Studios. No. uh... At Scheme Supreme on Instagram. Uh, that's where you should find it. Scheme Supreme. Oh, there it is. All right. We small right now, but 2019 is about to be a major blow up for us. That's that's the goal. Well, I, well obviously, because you're on this podcast, he said really <laughs> sarcastically. No, you guys. <laughs> this is the biggest. What are you talking about, dude? This is the biggest <laughs> show I've done. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn no. it. <laughs> I think you're the closest thing we've had to an actual celebrity. No, this is this nah, is this um, is awesome. Him and Flip, really. Yeah, Flip, yeah. We had we had a, a DJ from the local area, DJ Flip came on. And he's uh he's a big deal. His face is like everywhere, but for like a different reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he had uh, a <laughs> You you guys have already done but like last last podcast I did they just wanted to talk about like they didn't ask me about stories or anything like that. They just were like, so, like, tell me about your struggle. And I'm like, can we not? Like, <laughs> struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever, man. Everyone, like, I'm a piece of shit. This is the way I see it. You're an adult. Everyone has their problems. Whatever, man. Everybody's story is different. So be it. Nobody wants to hear about you. Nobody wants to hear about everyone else's struggles. They want to hear the good shit. Yeah, I'd rather tell them s- stories oh, I found than you. my story. You know? <clears throat> I'd rather tell my stories than, like, my story. Yeah, I find it funny that we have so many people who are like nervous to come on, and they have an awesome time. Like f- fucking Rudy had to come on with his uh, with his emotional support human, uh, uh, Pat, who was Pat? also cool. Yeah, Pat was cool as shit. Yeah, 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 cool as fuck. But it took me two two months of badgering fucking uh, Rudy to come on, and he was like, "That was great." I'm like, "What, what, what were you worried about?" 
that you're gonna give me shit the entire time. Well, like, why? Like that's not fun. Like I don't want to. I don't want to give shit. I don't want to hear about your struggle. Like that's not. Holy just crap! Kinda, this is a real school bus. Yes. I, I, <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm everyone at it. says the same I'm thing. This is, this is a yeah. legit school bus, man. Yeah, everyone awesome. says the same thing. <laughs> like it's big and yellow too. Have you guys thought about painting? Well, it? you have to paint it. It's you literally do. illegal for us not to. Oh, really? Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it can't look like a bus. Yeah, it can't look like a school bus. So what are you gonna? Dicks, uh, dicks, giant dicks. No, don't do giant. I know. We <laughs> gotta keep it low key, but it would be cool to get like like scheme supreme across the logo or something, or across the side or something. Yeah. Uh, you know, but we gotta figure all that stuff out. But we're dude, we're talking about having solar panels on the top and stuff. Oh, uh, so oh like, fuck yeah! As in an energy source and stuff, and just living in the desert, bro. We're, you know, can just, you do Wi-Fi somehow? Yeah, we're gonna figure out Wi-Fi. There's totally satellite. Yeah, the, Randy was already like. Let's figure this out. You know, like S- I, love the, I love the I love the picture of you with the shovel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're going to be very useful. I was uh, I was helping. I was helping yeah. that day. Yeah, today we put Chris's ass to work. <laughs> yeah, the tagline. Uh, I was I was like shoveling the the, the floors <laughs> out. We finally got all the floors out. So now we're building from the base. You know, now it's our bus. We took out everything that she did. She had like walls and and wooden things all over the place. We got rid of all that. And it's worked out. Like, it worked out perfectly, dude. The fact that this bus fits in my backyard was such <laughs> a nervous... Us backing it in, we are like, oh my god, is it going to fit? Is it going to fit? Because, like, we're parking it there for free or whatever, but we looked at places to rent. To- Not in Miami. It's yeah. 400 bucks. Yeah, like like a month or something. I do have... Um, so I- I drove a semi, and we don't even like people who drive semi don't even want to stop in Miami for the night anywhere because everything's just fucking expensive here. Yeah, 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 exactly. This is such a super cool idea. Yeah. Like, who else? People talk about doing stuff like this, but we bought a fucking bus. You know, I've heard stories of like we got drunk and bought a bus, but I didn't know them <laughs> personally, and I heard the story from somebody else. You don't, you know, you, you don't expect someone to follow through with that sober. Yeah, we talked about it for two years first. There you go. And just weekends of like, oh, can you imagine when we get a bus? And now we have it. And I just go outside and I stare at it. I just like. <laughs> you stare at it? Yeah, it's my bus. <laughs> you know? I know it's there. <laughs> you hope it's still there. No, now I sit in it. Like, I like it a lot. It's actually been the most chill zone. Like, I just smoke back there in the bench seats in the back, which are, they're about to get taken away. And I'm going to be very disappointed. But it's been very chill. I love it. The Instagram is great. There's so many pictures of the bus. This is great. Yeah, we gotta, you know, we're, we're trying to figure, we're, we're gonna figure all this out. We're all, we're idiots, we're three idiots. They're learning how to build a bus. My two friends are learning how to build a bus entirely off YouTube. So, that's just... Dude, that's the way the future. I've fixed so much shit. I've learned so much, like, how to do stuff. We're, like, five years away from, like, someone being able to, like, be, 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 being able to, like, plug in the internet and, like, doing heart surgery. Like, yeah. you can learn anything there. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, that's, cool. I probably could have figured out our podcast better if I'd watched some YouTube videos, <laughs> but uh, I, I didn't. No, no. We have a we have a friend that does uh, audio semi professionally and and, uh, and yells at us when we don't do things well. Yeah. So whenever something's going wrong with the show or the audio or anything, he uh, there's a group message we have that he texts us and bitches at us. And his he actually uh, he was here for the holidays. We had him on for a show. We call him our executive producer because <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was the one that actually. Uh, Helps set up the audio. And yeah. He, and he does the intro. Yeah. He, he or, wrote, or, yeah. Mid- the intro music we have, he, he actually wrote and recorded that. That's dope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shout out to Joey. Hi, Joey. Shout out. Oh, I, so I have another question for you. Go for it. Have you ever been to Schneebly's Winery in Homestead? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. Really? No. Nah, it nah. is quite phenomenal. There's a whole brewery in the back. MIA Brewing. Okay. M- there's Brewing. a couple MIA brewers in Miami. Yeah. 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 They do, but they use all local fruits, so like uh, lychees and mangoes, avocados, coconuts, and they they have a, a wine. They do the wines, and then they do. They just started the beer stuff. Well, not just a couple years ago, the wine they've been doing for like twenty, thirty years, something like that. I think maybe yeah. longer. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, it was funny because Krebs didn't join us, but last weekend I went out with our. We had another guest on Alger uh, the G Milf. Alger the G Milf. He's a Gay, married, libertarian farmer. farmer. Yeah, and uh, me and my wife and him went out to the winery, and the winery section was packed, but the brewery section was pretty open. So we went to the brewery, and I was so pissed because they were out of the lychee mead. What? Yeah, they were out of lychee mead. 
what was the thing? That, what was the thing that Joey wanted? Because I, when I thought I, I, I was going to be able to make it, um, there's that one, that one, that one thing in the beer that they didn't have. Was it like key lime pie? Yeah, was I think. It? It, yeah, I think so. I wanted to have it just so I called Joey. Like they got it now, bitch. Yeah, but they uh, they were out of the lychee mead when we got there. That's I was weird. so upset. So I, I I drank a bunch of other beer, but yeah, the place is pretty awesome. We've actually been plugging them on our show every show for free for no for no reason other than. I don't know. We don't have goals here. Like, yeah, we have no goals here. <laughs> We're just plugging them to plug them. Really, like, we. I like the place. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> like, I, I understand what you mean. I. I I'm hoping somehow from us picking Scheme Supreme as our name that we're going to start getting a bunch of free Supreme shit eventually. <laughs> like, uh, just really expensive clothes for no reason. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, we'd love like a bottle of wine or a cease and desist. Or like, we're really just <laughs> anything. You're just hoping for attention, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. It's kind of like a, if you build it, they might hate you kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I tried, I tried to hook up with the owners last weekend, but they weren't there when we went because we went super late. Oh, yeah, but we had a good time. I got got smashed house. Yeah, you guys should do your live podcast from Sun- 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 We we it, offered because we were there in, this is, in December. This is my thought. I say we do it guerrilla style. I say we just show up and start recording. I mean, what are they going to say? You exactly. Keep buying beer, you'd be fine. <laughs> exactly. What are they going to say to us? There's. I scoped it out. So they have tables over in the corner. <laughs> you did recon work. <laughs> <laughs> Hell <laughs> yes, I did. Of course you did, It's Marine. what I fucking do. <laughs> I spent a night at Schnellblies. All right. <laughs> I know it from like the back of my hand. Actually, I do. But uh, yeah, in the by the brewery, they have like this open parking lot and they have like asshole and shit outside. And there's a bunch of picnic tables. We could just take Hold over. Hold on. What they have? Asshole. Okay. It's like these two uh, pieces of wood or whatever. And you throw bean bags at it. And there's Corn a whole hole. Cut. Corn hole. Asshole, because only assholes play it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Asshole. Yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, there's like picnic tables, like benches out there. We just take one over, throw up the laptop and the couple cables, and done. Yeah. And there's a power outlet because there's a shed right there. Yeah. I looked. Yeah. I got a power. I got a. I got a surge protector. Yeah. I only need one, two, two outlets. That's the. That's the, that's the way to do it, man. Just show up and start recording. It just we're at we're at Shadevly's Winery recording right now, dude. Uh, my first podcast <laughs> idea was uh, that I should just record people taking me home from comedy clubs and just call it my car ride home. Just like I love it because it's just comics anyway. You know, it's always just comics or really refy Uber drivers. So <laughs> some of those would be fun. But some of them. <laughs> Do you speak Spanish or no? Not even sort of. Really? The problem. Do not have español? No, no. I'm Cuban too. I'm just a disappointment oh, well. to my family. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like, that's all I am. That's what we hang out with. Joey is Mexican. Not that you. Not that there's anything that shows on it. He doesn't speak Spanish either. Yeah, right. I know more Spanish than him and his Hispanic girlfriend. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't. Uh, it's a problem. Fiance. Sorry. It's it's a real problem because they just don't speak English, so they just. Don't try. There are no English speaking Uber drivers. Why? No, here. no, no. I had a guy drop me off literally in the median of a road. In what? between two lanes. Yeah. What? Yeah. That might yeah, be okay yeah. for me. Wait, what the uh, fuck? Yeah, it's like how a real... the fuck does that happen? Yeah, I don't even know how he thought that was an okay thing to do. Did you how'd you know you were there? I like... heard cars coming on both sides of me at the same time and I was like, Oh, all right, that seems like I'm in a median. And then eventually a security guy was like, Do you need help? And I was like, Yeah. I do. Incoming triggering statement. Fucking immigrants. <laughs> <laughs> so I got another question for you. Um, do you vote? Do I vote? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How's that work? I vote. Uh, do you have like a special ballot? There are accessible ballots. Uh, I did not are know. Are they in Braille? <laughs> That's a good point. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just have my I have my friend who blind me read them. I make him read my important documents. Uh, <laughs> that's what I do. So he helped me vote or whatever. How do you feel about Trump? I don't. You uh, don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I, I I don't care. People people care too much. People, people I agree. Are offended by his name. You're our first guest that isn't aware of the fact that he's been staring at you the entire time. We have a picture up uh, up of him, and and everybody always looks and they kind of like feel a little uncomfortable. You're the only guest who is not aware of that. I literally, I literally bought that picture <laughs> originally with the thought that it would be funny for the guests. It is <laughs> <laughs> literally just because I thought it would be funny for guests to like become uncomfortable if they were super liberal and stare at it. <laughs> and it's funny because it's it's a tell for us. So like when people come in and they stare at it, they they either immediately say something or they look at it and look away, like don't give a shit. 
Yeah, Trump is Trump is a weird thing because Trump jokes are the fucking worst now. No, it's it's beyond low hanging fruit. It's it's it's. You might as well be fucking sweeping the fruit off the floor, dude. Yeah, um, like yeah. Uh, uh, Pat Oswalt had like a great like quick bit. He, um, I think it's his, I think it was his last special. He was talking about he was like I don't have a lot of Trump stuff because it's like it's, it's like a homeless guy who just he, who every, every time he turned around he's doing something really even crazier and, and like worse than before. So he's sitting there. Oh, oh look! There, there's a homeless guy behind me. He's playing with shit. So I go to make a playing with shit joke. Oh wait, now he's eating it, and I have to dump the original joke. No, I'm like, I'm like, I just can't do it. No. Yeah. I, saw, I saw the best Donald Trump me this morning. Monkey posted it. it oh was, yeah. It was Donald Trump, and he had signed like some official document. He's holding it up, and over the document it says, "We'll suck dick for a wall." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my favorite my favorite wall joke I've ever heard was uh, Hans Rivero deserves the plug. He 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 does a joke uh, where he's like. He's like, Trump wants to build a wall. Trump wants to build a wall, man. You know what Mexicans see when they see a wall? They see one-fourth of a house that's already built. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already picturing that now. It's just housing all down that line. <laughs> that's great. So this is, my, this is my idea. You ready for this? <coughs> I want to restore the Rio Grande. Like the river? Yes. Because it used to... It used to be a raging river. In between us and Mexico, you're saying? Yeah. Well, this is my other thought. We could just trench it out. We can do like Panama. You just, you just want an excuse to call Mexicans wetbacks again? Well, <laughs> no. You figure it covers two thirds of the border, right? So two thirds of the border. We could. This is the other thing too. We could have it connect to the Colorado River as well, and then use the water in California to get rid of their their salinization problem. And then boom, two problems solved at once. Dude, do you want to run in 2020? I've been trying to get you to like run with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm running away in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Where? Uh, everywhere on the bus yeah that's what i'm saying the bus is on the run 2020 that's where we, i mean we should definitely have it up and running by then when do you think you're gonna have the bus running so we're like, talking at go. least like eight months or six to eight months maybe and we may be done maybe nice. a little longer but uh once it's done man we're gone we just we just save up for a little bit longer and then we go hopefully we can start earning like getting some internet presence or whatever I'm not like big on like the crowdfunding stuff, but you should play. Like, <laughs> how are you would, doing would, on funds? How yo, you doing funds? Yo, like, I would totally like if you set up if you set up like some kind of Patreon thing to help like fund the bus. Like, yo, I'd be in. I yeah, would be, I'd I, be, know, pu- I would be I putting money down I right know, now. I know that's that's and you and you you would, goal, would be front and center on that picture. So, so I've been thinking about it. All right, because I, I, I hate everything that has to do with me getting things because I'm blind. Okay. No, this this I would not absolutely do it because you're blind. I would do it because this is really fucking cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comics going on the road to start a podcast, do shows, and live in a bus like that is super fucking cool. And I want to one, I want to see the show, and two, I want to listen to the show, like the podcast. Like Definitely. I would be giving you guys money. Definitely, uh, and that's what we're hoping for. The goal that then it's like, do we do we put up the the, the uh, crowdfunding when it's all done? We could show people, or like now when it's fucking empty. You know, I think it's probably better when we start having a little bit more work done and stuff. When it starts looking more like a home, so people really get the image. No, you've got you've got like the fixer upper pictures now. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, dude, we got the before pictures hella yeah. hard right now. Yeah, yeah. Or you could do like, uh, you could do like postcards. You could set it up to where like, dude, uh, we'll send you a postcard from every state we go to. Yeah, that's a genius idea. Yeah. Or like, uh, by the way, did you ever send the uh, Black Pressure gift card to that dude? No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, you he can want- buy blood pressure. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we have a. <laughs> We have ten dollar blockbuster gift cards if you want one. Oh, <laughs> I heard blood pressure. No, we have a ten dollar blockbuster gift cards, and you can definitely have one if you want. <laughs> they're they extra wasted on you. Yeah, yeah, they're double wasted. I mean, they're not real, but we have them. That's awesome. But but they, but um, I put them up on our Instagram page, and the guy's like, "Dude, I want them. Like, send me your address." I'm like, "All right." All right, but like eight people said that only one dude actually sent me his fucking address. I'm like, all right, we got to send it to him. Which... I guess we should follow through on that. You guys should. The, I mean, you guys one guy. promised. You know, you know how yes. happy he'll be when he gets one in the mail. Yeah, you know. You still have his address? Yeah. I have all right, it. we'll do. We'll do it before, uh, at the end of the show. Okay. Oh, and I said we signed him. Okay. Yeah, we'll sign it. Sign it right now. I got the marker right here. Here. Okay. I don't even. I don't know if the dude listens. He he just follows us on Instagram and he just wants those. Oh really? Yeah. I'll sign the shit out of it here. <laughs> Just put your podcast name on it. Boom. Oh, we will. Oh, and I, t- I, I told him we give him two. Okay, we, we'll, like... we'll, si- we'll sign one and leave one unsigned. Okay. 
Chris, you want to sign a, you want to sign a blockbuster card? Uh, I don't, you know, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make me scribble all over where you guys signed, which is funny. I'll give it that. <laughs> I had a guy who was like, hey, man, you want to host my show? And I was just like, I don't really host. Oh, I love hosting. You know, because imagine if it was just like, all right, guys, I'm done. And then uh, the comic gets off and then there's two minutes of awkward silence as I tap, tap to the stage. And just try to fumble my way on stage and be like, all right, all right, guys, coming up next. I don't think it would work that well. But I was like, but if you think that's funny, I'll do it. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm down. That's kind of a weird thing to ask you, though, because it, it takes more than just being funny. You got to, like, have a relationship with the people there, get to know them. You got to sort of them. be able, yeah, like, you, yeah. need, you need all the information. Yeah. To, yeah. No, I'm not. I sort of am pretty happy with my position in comedy. Yeah. Show because up, do I, your thing. Yeah, yeah. I just show up. Get to do my spot and then done. You know, that's all there is to it. I don't have to set up lights. I don't have to set, you know, I just do my time and dip. You don't even know, you don't, you don't even have, actually have to, have to know where to go. No, I do. Yeah. But, but then people know, people take me and stuff. It's uh, pretty uh, funny. Yeah, sorry, like, uh, I'll just show up to like places early. And my strategy is just to look as lost as possible until somebody's like, do you need help finding something? And I'm like, yeah, I need to go to here. You know, I, I had this comic pick me up on the street. He was like, oh, crit, come on this way. And I was like, oh, dude, thanks a bunch. He's like, no, thank you, man. There was a cop right there and I'm smoking a joint. <laughs> <laughs> win, win. <Yeah. laughs> oh, just legalize it already. Seriously, right? No, it's silly. It's silly. I don't even, you know, like weed, especially like uh, is something that I, I'm just like. Nah, who cares, dude? It's just we're not doing. It's it's just a plan. We're not doing anything wrong. I don't even you know? enjoy it that much. It makes me sleepy and hungry, and I don't need shit to do that to me. Like it's not yeah, fun. yeah. Like but, those are your two quiet. Yeah, yeah like, I can do that on my own by just waiting long enough. Yeah, right. <clears throat> but so I got another question. So who, or who is your favorite comic? Like, uh, yeah. Oh, that's a tough who point. did you? Who did you? Who did you listen question. to that you were like? I need to do comedy. Like I want to be that guy. Well, all right. If we're, if we're going, if we're going into that, that's that's way different because yeah. I remember starting in in like elementary, middle school, just running around outside reciting Dane Cook bits to people, you know, and which people are like, Dane Cook, that's a terrible. Ch- yes, he's terrible. I, God, he's uh, awful. I love <laughs> I love Dane Cook, and then I turned nineteen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you you start finding other comedy, but man, that Kool Aid Man bit is great. Right? <laughs> oh no, Kool Aid Man! You gonna fix this? What you know? Like yeah. uh, that's that's just how I sort of got into it. You know, that was an album I had on my. Dan Cook, just a tip. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but uh, when I started developing and stuff, it's it's people like Louis C.K. is a big big influence, and like Jim Norton, and obviously have, have, all, all have the you podcasters ever, and stuff. Yeah. Have you ever knowingly jerked off in front of somebody? No. <laughs> <laughs> How would I do that? How would I man? You know, I was well, thinking about it on the way here in my car. I was like, I'm pretty good at knowing when I'm alone, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> like I get away with some ballsy things sometimes, and it's just like, hello, is someone there? All right, dirty word, dirty word, dirty. You know, like, <laughs> like it's just, it's just like I'm pretty good at that. I'm not good at knowing where people are when they are there, but I am good at people. So uh, I gotta ask you guys: Do you think I can own a gun? You think like because we're talking about like on the road, we're gonna need protection. You think I can? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, you're a citizen. I, Second I Amendment, do, bro. I, I do want, <laughs> dude. I'm all about I, it. I want to film that series of videos of me going into Walmart's trying to buy a gun, <laughs> dude. How many before I just can they you let please me start do it? doing these things dude, and, and b- stop just talking about them because this sounds awesome, b- 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 dude? How many before they actually let me buy one? You know, like I guarantee you, the first one they let you. Yeah, in, in Florida, come on, dude. You oh, know, in Florida, the, you're walking out with a gun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even want it. They just gave it to me. Yo, you're it's, okay. Yeah. So, so for guns in Florida, uh, if you don't have a concealed weapons license. Uh, it's a waiting period for pistols. I believe a rifle or a shotgun, you can walk out of the store that day. I'm down to walk out with a shotgun, just using it like a cane. <laughs> <laughs> Safety umbra. Yeah, yeah. Safety yeah, first. Just, uh, I'm pretty sure if you walked into Walmart and in 
I imagine like Texas, some other southern states, Florida, you could just walk in and get it. They won't say a damn thing. They don't give a fuck. We're supposed to go shooting with Alger and uh, Sutton wants to go. Do you want to come too? Dude, that'd be, that'd be super fun. Have you ever been shooting? No, I've never been shooting. Really? Okay, next time I go, uh, I, will, I, will, I will text you. Because Cause, so. cause like, honestly, I feel like if I can throw this beer bottle and hit you, I should be able to shoot a gun. All right? Like, and I'm pretty good at it, you know? Like, the... Uh, I can ball up a piece of paper and nail somebody, you know. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same principle, right? Yeah, same Except principle, easier, bro. Easier, easier. I don't know. I don't know if, if Randy told you. So I'm also, uh, or how much about me he told you, or, or what? Other than that, we work together. Other than no, yeah. yeah okay, so I'm a, I'm a former marine. Okay. Uh, I I like guns a lot. I got a bunch of them. Sweet. <laughs> so yeah, next time we go to the range. Uh, Do you want to hold one for pictures later? Sure. Oh, hell yes. This is happening. Oh, my God. This is going to be great. Dude, dude, this is actually perfect. Last week, they taught me how to flick a knife out. <laughs> and now I'm going to fucking hold a gun. Sweet. Next week, grenades. Yeah. <laughs> We're really just ramping it up. You're going to learn how to build a bomb, Chris. <laughs> no one's, Dude, I wear a backpack everywhere because I usually have That's weed on me. <laughs> because I can't just leave it in my car like the rest of you guys. Uh, so I always have a backpack on and I have to wear sunglasses and I have this beard. So I always look like a suspect. I just, I just, always... you look, you look every fucking dro- every drawing I've ever seen right now. Yeah, exactly. I didn't like... realize that until just now. <laughs> the cane throws them off completely. They're like, well, we gotta, never mind. <laughs> I can't wear hats. It makes me not be able to wear hats. Because you can't wear glasses, have a beard, a backpack, and wear a hat. That's too suspect, man. You've got two bombs on you right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. Do you ever get stopped by the cops because they no, think you're suspect? Or no, they, no, no. they leave you alone? or uh, I, I don't even... Sometimes I don't even realize I'm getting walked by a cop until I hear the radio, and I'm like, ah, all right, there's weed in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> But thank you for the help, officer. <laughs> uh, you go, you need help, sir? No, no, I'm all right, man. I don't. Uh, but people are nice, man. I'm not that, you know. Like we, uh, you know, as long as you're not acting like an asshole, they they don't really have a reason to treat you like an asshole, right? Well, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> well, all right. Let me let me rephrase that. As long as you're not acting like an asshole and have white skin, they're not going to treat you like an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> uh, have you ever, has anyone ever tried to rob you or anything? Or? No, no, no. Uh, I, I do have that scenario planned in my head already, though. You know? Where I could just be like, hey, man, can you do me a favor? Can you not steal my phone? Uh, because you're not going to figure out how to use it because it's on blind mode and I need to call an Uber home. <laughs> or like, I'm not calling 911. Let me show you. Let me show you. I need to call an Uber. Okay? Because you can't just rob me on the street and leave me without a phone. <laughs> Hopefully you get a nice a nice mugger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the, I'm like... The uh, good guy mugger. You're just sitting there thinking. You're like, you're not going to get these words out, bro. <laughs> 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 like, you're, I, I know you think that, but all you're going to get is, give me all your money! <laughs> Well, no, no, no. I've, I've been I've been held up a couple times. Yeah. Uh, and and usually, well, the couple times that I've been held up, it's it's always the first thing that happens is they put a gun in my face and they're like, "Give me your wallet." Yeah. And, and they're they're not real loud. They're not real violent at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really they're trying to keep it as quiet as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. They don't want to make a scene. Yeah. And so I just I was just imagining like just you me not there. believing there's a gun. Be like, what? Are, what are you gonna do about it, pussy? <laughs> <laughs> just so, like. Until I feel the cold steel against me, and I'm like, oh, all right. All right, sir. I see you. Yeah, right? No, just full confidence. Just no no fucks. Just keep walking. Just, <laughs> just really don't even acknowledge him. You know, that's, a, that's the problem, is really, uh, I still walk down the street listening to music with my headphones on. That's like a bad idea. Oh, dude, it's the worst. I, like, I don't know why I think it would be a good idea for me to practice my Helen Keller impression there. You know? <laughs> Just, one ear, dude. One ear. Just one, one ear, ear. for Come sure. On. Yeah, that's the move. I usually do one ear. Yeah. It's still just like, I'm so stupid, dude. <laughs> I bought these new, like, because uh, these type of headphones almost, you know? Okay. And I, when I put them on, if I put them both on, I'm fucking useless, you know? 
That's why I like going to concerts and stuff. But then you walk out after three days of standing next to speakers, and you're like, "What? I can't hear or see." <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be a, a shell of myself by 27. <laughs> <laughs> Which, How old are you now? Uh, 22. 22. Seriously? Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just seem like a dude who's been around a lot longer. Yeah, right. I I, I got a, I do a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got stories. Right? You got fucking experience. Uh, that's, I mean, and that's all there is in comedy, right? Yeah. It's just having things to talk about. So that's why I can't wait to get on this bus and on the road because every day is just going to be like, what are we going to do? More stories. You know, like, what are we, where are we going? How are we surviving? What are we going to do? Because we are going to have to live in towns for a little bit. It is a lot of money to fill up our gas tank <laughs> on that bus. Well, uh, so my mother's husband, his parents, when they retired, they got a motor home, right? Yeah. Like a trailer yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And they went from national park to national park. And they would go to the park and volunteer. Yeah. And, and they got to park there for free and use the facilities and shit yep. for a certain amount of time. And I think they even made like a couple bucks on the side for it or whatever. That's a, the that's a thing you do too. And I also know that if you, when you're driving cross country, you can park for free overnight at Walmart. Walmarts, Cracker, Fly- cracker Barrels, and casinos. And, uh, yeah. and pilots and Flying Jays. Well, depends. But, uh, the, but yeah, like... I know if you go into Walmart, they'll give you a map of all the mall- Walmarts. And you, you just got to buy something from a Walmart, apparently. You just got to yeah. buy one thing. And it's like, all right, which is understandable as a thing. And then you're like, casinos, what do you got to place one bet? And then you can stay there all night. They're just like, no, no, park here, park here. The temptation will get you. Don't worry. You we'll want to come in and win. Yeah, you want to come in. The flashing lights won't get you. No, they will not. <laughs> dude, we went to a casino. And we we're like, dude, this is so much visual. Like, here, here, here. Dude. I'm so glad sometimes like I don't like I don't even advertising doesn't even get me. Uh, I'll walk around like a music festival or something and my friends will be like, oh, this food truck or this food truck. And I'm like, I'm so glad I can't see all these food trucks because I'm so fucking fat. I love food trucks. I'm just like, <laughs> I would go. I would want to go to all of them. You know? A strip club is almost a waste of your time it, unless you get a lap dance. It, it is. Exactly. The laptop dance is, is the important you know, like strip club thing for a blind person because if not, it's I want to buy one right now. <laughs> <laughs> strip clubs or whatever they're they're fun or whatever they're cool last time i walked into a strip club i had a stripper come up to me she's like i've never had sex with a blind person before and i was like all right we both know you're not about to either all right like, <laughs> <laughs> really you just shot her down no no i i like indulge her or whatever but you know <clears throat> i know she was you know it's just stripper talk i really know? feel like the first thing she says is well i've never had sex with a stripper this is yeah yeah this is I'm destiny not that smooth <laughs> <laughs> work, on, just, work on it i was just like uh, are you there? <laughs> That's like a big problem for me. Hello? Is, is remembering that girls are there. You know, like because I just assume I have the same problem. I just assume <laughs> that they left. You know, to go talk to someone better or whatever. So I had this girl the other night at the bar. She was just like, I was just quiet or whatever. And she's like, talk, talk more. And I was just like, oh shit, you're here. <laughs> I didn't think you were there. And then she. She was like, I have dreads. Here, you feel my hair. And I grabbed her tit accidentally. But uh, Seriously? Yeah, I did, really didn't mean to. And she's like, did you just grab my boob? And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And she was like, did you mean to grab my hair? And I was like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, that. You ever, I, I, unlo- I felt like one time I felt like I unlocked. You ever feel like you've unlocked something that was in your DNA? You know? Uh, the other day I felt like I had been an old blind pervert my entire life. Uh I was at this festival, and this girl uh, was talking about her her big fake titties or whatever. <laughs> her words, not mine. All right, and uh, I was like, "Oh, dude, I bet I could guess them based off feel alone." And I was, "This is a move I had never done before." And she was like, "Go for it," and I grabbed her tits, and I was like, "Oh yeah, these are definitely A's." <laughs> <laughs> I would have said these are definitely tits. And she, <laughs> and she was just like, oh my God, no, they're not. And I was just like, hold on, let me try again. <laughs> I'll get it the second time. Oh man, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> and I got done and I was like, I felt like that had been, <laughs> like, I feel like that was a move passed down to me from generations. <laughs> that was locked. In, yeah. Like I get it. Locked in your DNA. Like, that was, yeah. was just waiting, waiting <laughs> the right moment to pounce in that shit. I feel, I feel like she was, she, she was ready to bang you, dude. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel, yeah. I feel like she was. You need to hang out with Matt so he can show you some of the cues I you're missing. Really, I, really I, am, I miss like... a lot of cues. No, social cues are hella visual. And Matt's really fucking good at this. No, he, has she... called, he has called girls that I didn't know I was going to sleep with later on. This is what happened. You felt her tits, and you said, oh, these are definitely A's. Mess with me. She's like, no, they're not. And you're like, let me try again. She's like, go do it. Feel them. No, they're not A's. That was an invitation. That was... I will tell anytime you... Anytime a girl opens up like that, I... it is basically... <laughs> She has already, because females decide in the first five minutes or so, yeah. subconsciously or consciously, that they will or will not bang you, right? And she'd already decided that. Most of them's the will not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. No. That's for everyone. Don't though. focus on that though. Th- that's for yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Most of the most of the time, it's a will not. But that was definitely a will. And if you had followed through, I guarantee you, she would. She would have. She would. She would have been more than happy. Well, it's like, dude, what's the follow through too? It's like, it's like, there's no good way of. I'm not going to get me too because I need so much consent to do normal things. It's like, I'm going to go to kiss you right now. I really hope that I don't headbutt you. You know, like, <laughs> like I really like, it's just like, uh, it, they see me coming literally from a mile away, you know, <laughs> literally like, uh, there's no, like, uh, like I'm not groping somebody fluidly, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's very like, uh, oh, I missed, I missed. Oh, there it is. You know, like, but don't worry. That's most guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We were all teenagers. I'm fucking stupid. Uh, no, but don't worry, you're not alone. Everyone's fucking stupid. <laughs> no, no, but you were fine. Like outside, you like stuck at your hand, and I shook your hand. Like that's a good in, and then you hold the hand. <laughs> yeah, Be- yeah, because why not? Because you're blind. You don't know. Some where you girls. Are. So I do the shoulder thing to walk, and some girls just grab my hand to hold it, and I'm like, and nah, like I'm like, oh. and have you? Okay. Have, you, have you seen Ray Charles? <laughs> There's yeah. an actual scene in there. Where, oh, the, the the wrist thing. Yeah, that's what well, everyone hits me with. Yeah. Yeah, like that sounds like a good little like way to at least go. Okay, well you're not huge. No, it it is a great way of finding fat girls. I'll give him yeah. that. It's a fucking genius way of realizing if a girl is fat. Ray Charles grew up in a different time though. Girls weren't thick back then. You know, like it was. <laughs> I feel like you missed out. Yeah, dude. I, I like it's it's weird. Drunk girls are sort of a, sometimes down with me just like it, it makes you really because you know women want to be judged off their their you know intellect and personality and like you know stuff like that and then they're drunk and they meet a blind person and the first thing they do is hey feel my tits and i'm like oh yeah that's what you're really proud of there's all right a, there's an entire market of of hot bodied women with ugly faces that you should be slaying dude no i know but because her, we but her face is for real dude like her body's banging but her face doesn't matter at all you know like yeah you, you should be slaying that market alone but i, I love like it's not it's not a you know, uh i'm not i try not to be a creep that's why i try to like stay away uh Cause I just don't, I, I, you know, you don't have to stay away. Just, you know, yeah. Don't be a pervert. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 don't do the me too thing. But you've got such a wide like margin of error though. You can be like, I'm sorry. I didn't see that. I'm sorry to me. Like, you know what I've realized is a, is I've got a, no excuse. It's a good niche. You know what? I have to date girls. Cause I'm going to use the nicer term. Cause I feel like I've been uh, saying things. I have to date girls who have worn glasses at some point in their life. Who at least sort of know what shitty vision is, because girls with twenty twenty vision don't even get it. You know, like <laughs> chicks with glasses, they're like, "Oh, I'm up." They're like, "I'm like almost blind," and I have to be like, "You're not even sort of blind." <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, chicks with twenty twenty vision are like chicks who were always hot and knew it. They never yeah. had to you know, yeah, develop yeah. a personality, yeah, sense yeah. of humor, like nothing. They don't exactly, exactly. Yeah, my wife has glasses. She got some some Coke bottles. And, yeah, uh, really? dude, I yeah. used to have that shit, I dude. That. She usually wears contacts, but uh. You know what's the craziest part about the, the, the like transcript hitting me in the face story or whatever is the fact that I was just such a like insecure guy or whatever, I guess, that I was like, I want to wear contacts instead of my super thick glasses. But if I was just wearing super thick glasses, Saved. it would have oh. been saved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. don't think that, Matt. Yeah. Oh. No, I don't. I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm good. You know, like, are you? I was pretty much like, all right, I'm blind what's next you know like it wasn't it was i didn't really have a lot of like i was i was ready basically you know to well, a point well it feel like i don't know i'm super excited about the bus thing i feel like that's super fucking cool like i'm jealous yeah. i want to go do that shit like the only problem is that i'm not funny yes you are <laughs> you fucking get it, you get... i'm not i'm not as funny as this guy like I don't have written down. Like okay, so this is I'm good. Have, have you spent four years doing open mics, dude? No. You find the funny. But yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm exactly. At, no, but both of you, like I, you know, you I'm, both could do it. I'm I'm good in oh, conversation. Oh, I know I'm funny. 
I'm, yeah, good, yeah. I'm good in conversation and stuff like that. I'm not writing jokes down and figuring. I'm just not. I want. I don't have the patience for it. And yeah. it, it's pretty funny. The first time you do stand up, okay. The first time you do stand up, at least for me, and I think it's true for a lot of people. I wrote down my bits word for word, okay. And you sort of memorize it like it's a speech or a presentation. And then you go up there and you're like, <laughs> none of this is fucking real. <laughs> you know, like like it was. I just did it the first time and then I threw it away. I was like, I'm never doing like that again. And then I just started writing one word ideas, you know? I, I started with just um, something sort of like inspirational, but like interesting. Um, mostly like like text that I sent you, Matt. Just like, I think this is an like interesting thing. So I would start off with something prepared for like just a couple lines. And that was like, like, like it was kind of like comedy fluffer. Like it got me, uh, all right, I'm talking, I'm in a zone. And then I like put down the phone and I, and I just kept going. So I had something to, to go off of. But the best stuff I ever did it was just it just came to me while I was up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it it really like a tag or something. It will happen. I, I'm not. I'm less good about like writing on stage. You know, I like having a writing beforehand. Do you it, record everything? No, <laughs> you I actually really, you really don't. Need to. I actually don't write. Oh, you mean like record my sets? Yeah. Yeah, I try to, you know, like on my phone or whatever. I try to, but you know, I just nodded at you. I, I get, feel stupid I, about I that. I get bad <laughs> about it, but. uh I don't even really write down my stuff. It's all just sort of in my head. I, I generally will get a good idea, and if I can tell it's a good idea, I'll lock it in, basically. I'll be like, oh, that's funny. Lock it in. And then if I tell it once on stage, it's there. Okay. So it's actually sort of given me, an, like, I know comics who still go up and read stuff from notepads and stuff, and I'm like, I never had that. You know, I can't take up my phone and, uh, you know, have it read to me on stage. You know, yeah. Uh, which which you gave can't even, me like, write notes in your arm. Damn. Yeah, I can't. I can't. <laughs> which gave me a little. I did a. I did a. Roast. Unless you want to scar yourself, but don't. You're not. I already, I already got one. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a sweet ass scar. Yeah, I just broke my arm. Oh. Uh, but. Uh, but uh, tell a better story next time for that. Uh, I fought a ninja. That that should be. That, should that be. was for the first time you got held up. Guy that, tried to take your phone, dude. Yeah. <laughs> there you go bashed him i do need a better story other than me just being drunk and falling yeah, there you go uh, <laughs> i don't know uh i did a roast battle one time it was a competition oh, uh and people were reading stuff and i actually feel like i got a lot of leeway because i wasn't reading stuff you know people were straight reading off their papers like ooh, ooh, you know and i i just had like it was just you in my head yeah yeah i i won like 250 dollars off that you won that? Nice. You won that? Yeah. Shit, that's awesome. Yeah, it was cool. I'm, I, I'm it's like just, the most I've ever gotten paid to do comedy, for sure. <laughs> I'm just not that big on roast battles, just because, like... I love it. I it's, want me in the audience. I don't really don't care about another comic on stage. Oh, like, dude, it's so fun, I like man. watching him. I just can't see myself doing that. It's so fun, just... Tearing, Unless I'm that drunk. Tearing down your friends. The first guy I went against is one of the guys I did a... Uh, like, I w am working on the bus with. <coughs> and uh, I thought I would just lose. I thought I would just lose hands down and i ended up like just i thought of something on the way up to the stage and it was a haymaker you know it was just that was it it was cool it, so, you had, you, so you mentioned earlier your, your dad watches your youtube videos dude i try not to man i don't even put them up it's just so, so other people are putting them up for you yeah like like just venues or whatever we'll film the show and then put it up and i'm like well where can people listen to them on youtube at or do you want? Do you want to put I that out there? I don't really want to. That's all like old. No, don't worry. If, <laughs> it's if they good. Google me, it'll find it. Yeah, it's it's fine or whatever. I just I don't I don't. One of them, the audio is terrible. The other one's a tranny show. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and that's offensive. It's a drag show, but and that's it's offensive because it's a drag show. No, it was no. <laughs> I had to do. What's a wrong? What, what's wrong with drag? I had to do a show in drag. I've done a show in drag. I did a show in... I hosted a show in drag. I, I did it one time. She, The lady who booked it, they messaged me weeks before, and they are like, you want to do our drag show? And I was like, sure. Do I have to dress up like a girl? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, I'll get back to you. Uh, and then the night before the show, and all my other friends were on it, like my the two guys I was building the bus with, another yeah. some other comics I knew. And she came up, and she's like, are you, guys do, are you doing the show too, Chris? A long while I was next to them, and I couldn't look like a bitch. So I was like, "All right, I'll do the show." So we went to like Goodwill and bought these like abuelita dresses, 
and uh, <laughs> like these like house coats and put them on. And we had to do a bathing suit section, like a swimsuit contest, and where they all bought bikinis. But I was like, I'm not gonna buy a bikini. So I just took off my dress and was just standing in my like boxers or whatever. And I wrote on a sharpie, I wrote "Free the nipple" all over me. I was like, <laughs> like a feminist girl who's like, "Free the nipple." We should be able to be topless. Hashtag feminism. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag feminism, bro. <laughs> it's hard to be woke. It's hard to be woke. I've actually done, what, three or four podcasts in uh, lingerie? Yeah. Why? <laughs> well, because it, it, it makes the guests uncomfortable. I look amazing. It is funny. I, I'll give you that. I I'll actually give you debated. That. Well, and it's like, I've got a whole thing. Like, it was a whole journey because, like, I met drag queens. I, like, had to go to, to like, different places. I've got really great legs, and when I was trying on like something, um, the girl who was helping me, I was this is a place in Chicago that I was buying it at, and I'm and I'm, I'm, I'm like pulling up the stockings, and the way I'm pulling it up, she goes, you know, you kind of look like one of those pinup girls. I'm like, there's no manly way to do this. I'm sorry, like it was a whole a whole thing, and the laundry was fucking expensive, so I'm I'm kind of getting my mileage out of it. Mm-hmm. So I, I I was actually debating like should I wear it for you, but like that's that, kind of a, that's, that's funny. It's kind of a waste. Like yeah yeah. If a tree falls in the forest, does the blind man see the lingerie? No, no, he doesn't. Well, like he wore. Oh, so we had a uh, a former lesbian, or I guess she's bisexual well, now. Oh yeah, or, that's not I how guess. you describe the. I, 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 don't, I don't. I don't. I don't know what where she stands or whatever anymore. She's bi. She's bi. She's she had bi, fun. Whatever. What? Whatever. Whatever. She, we, she does roller derby. Cool chick. We've known her for years. Yeah, I've known, awesome. We've known her forever. She came on the show, and this one uh, walks into the lingerie, and then she just. <laughs> She refused to talk about it, right? So she's just in the microphone and just didn't want to talk about it until I asked her. I was like, hey, so what is Kreps wearing? And she's like, something black. And she like just didn't want to talk about it because she didn't want to look over at Kreps. It was hilarious. And I kept having to like poke her about it. Like, so what is Kreps wearing? Does it have lace? Is it is parts of it see-through? Like, <laughs> and it was just... She didn't want to, uh, I guess, give us the satisfaction of it. It was really, it was really funny though. But it, but it started with um, um, when I when I hosted a show. I also like kind of headlined it. It was a it was at, at a strip club, but it was half uh, it was half stand up ha- um, and a couple burlesque. Bur- yeah, yeah. Um, the burlesque was awful. They were just terrible. The, the comics were great. This is a show I hosted in Tampa like three, three years ago, um, and I I had a whole thing where actually so I'm wearing like normal clothes. And I started telling this really fucked up story about the time my mother found my porn and made me watch it with her. Oof. So I'm telling a really fucked up story, but as I'm doing that, I'm undressing. <laughs> so it's like, hey, look, this is how fucked up I am from the story, but I don't say that. I sort of like leave that implied. So that's kind of where that, where that came from. So the last time you, when was the last time you did stand-up? Uh, I was in Tampa. That was three years ago. Three years ago? Yeah. Yeah, man. Gotta get back out there, dude. I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's fun. I'm inspired by, by the dude who literally can't go anywhere without help. I'm like, damn it. Well, what the fuck are my excuses? Shit. No. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's like, but I, I, I'm lazy too, man. I, I like miss shows and stuff all the time. Like, I'm a piece of shit. Occasionally. <laughs> what, do you really? <laughs> he told me the other way here. He's like, he's like, I'll always, he's like, what, 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 what did you I was say? like, I, I don't really like to turn down shows, so, but I'll miss them. I'll not, sh- <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll not show up to shows, but so wide seeds, man. Like, what the fuck? I'm a piece of shit, dude. Sometimes, and I, I just like sometimes it's because Ubers are expensive, and if I don't, it, so the way it works is I can either Uber to a place, yeah, and everywhere in Miami I do stand up is at least a twenty five to thirty dollar Uber yeah. each way, which is like not. Not plausible, you know, not feasible. Uh, or I set up the car that dropped me off here today an hour early, uh, STS, which is like you have to, it's it's the disabled vehicle. It's like the car service for disabled people. Mm-hmm. And you have to call a day ahead before 5 p.m. and to set up your rides for the, like, for the week. And then fucking bookers would be like four hours before a show and be like, oh, well, could you do my show tonight? And I'm like... No, I can't. Like, are you going to pay me $60 to be there? Are you going to pay me anything? No. Or, well, then I'm not getting to your show because you you knew you had a show. And you called me. And you wait four hours before, you know? And they're calling you, so they know you. Yeah. People don't care, though. People don't care. They don't really, like... Some people are better about, like, thinking about blind people and stuff, like disabled people. But some people... 
just don't really, they don't even uh, think about it. It's all right. It's cool. But the, the STS takes forever. So, like, let's say I have a show at 9 p.m. I'd be like, okay, I need to be there at 9 p.m. They'd be like, all right, we'll be at your house at 6 p.m. And I'm like, Jesus. Okay. I guess, like, I guess thinks I have to leave for the show. And I've had them, like, because they just they don't give a fuck. They just show up whenever they want. So I'll, I'll, so I'll have a show at 9 p.m. They'll be at, at my door at 5.30. I'm Jesus. like, what, do you, what am I supposed to do? And I'm, I'm, I'm broke, so it's like, I'm going to the bar and brickle. I'm not sitting there and drinking for three hours. <laughs> That's not expensive, you know? It'd be more expensive than the Uber. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly it. By for two, hour, for by, two drinks. By hour one, yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, so I, I try to only use, use my drink ticket that I get or whatever. Yeah, STS, or, or they'll come... They'll be ready to pick me up, and I'm like, dude, I haven't even gone on stage yet. You know, like I, I told you to be here at 11:30, and they're like, oh, okay, I'll just be outside, and I just feel bad. You know, like you get a drink ticket, like you, like you get one drink. Yeah, usually that's my payment for most shows is one drink. Dude, you should do more shows in, in Orlando because I did shows where like I just I just got an open bar because they, well, well for me be, just because you were hosting and stuff. Well, well, yeah, um, or um, your free lap dances. If you ask real nice. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> no, I, I, it's, yeah, that's why. I'm I, trying to get up to Orlando more because I have, like, cousins up there. And it's not it's that just, much. It's just a better scene. It, it's true, Miami. But I love Miami. I love how piece of shitty it is. You I know? say that's because you don't have to deal with the traffic. <laughs> it's true. Well, <laughs> dude. That's, that's, that's I mean, why you like it. No way, dude, because the STS deals with traffic, too, because <laughs> they... Not only pick up me, but also often a van full of other disabled people. So when I was, uh, I had a job and I had to be there at 9 a.m. So I'd be like, all right, to make sure I'm not late, I'll be like, all right, I'm, I need to be there at 8.30 a.m. Okay? And they're like, all right, well, we have to pick you up at 5.15. And sometimes they would pick me up at 5.15 and I still wouldn't get there until 10 a.m. Damn. Or like, like it, easily you could do four hours in, 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 the, in the van and just, just like... And not, it's not good. It was the worst thing ever. It was like fucking the worst. Where'd you work? I, I did, uh, I worked for nonprofits for a year, uh, in downtown. Okay. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, I used to get off work and just go to the bars at like five <laughs> just cause I'd be like, well, I'm not going all the way home to Kendall. My show's here. So I might as well just, just go to the, yeah, wait it out. go to the bar now. Yeah. That was cool. Um, but yeah, it, it's hard. I like Miami because nobody in Miami does it, comedy. Like I said earlier, isn't glamorized in Miami at all. You no. know, it's not a thing. It's actually, it's actually pretty shit on. No, no, it's super shit on. So the people who are doing comedy every night in Miami really want to fucking be there. <coughs> dude, you know, we 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 want we we need to be there. You know, but so you don't have a lot of audiences that. Want us there? Yeah, no, no, that's... they don't want us there. Which makes us a better comic, better too. Because I've seen fucking headliners go to places that I go to and go, "This place is the worst." And I'm like, "This place is the fucking best, dude." I got David Tell like tickets like an hour before because nobody knew he was going to be there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we you're going to always get free free comedy show tickets here. Yeah. We also don't have a lot of venues, and I would love to see more comedy here. Yeah, I yeah. really would. Like, we I have, would definitely go see more. We have the comedy in. We have the Magic City thing a little bit and then now we have a new improv in Doral. see we actually matt actually and that's brand new yeah matt actually took me to the improv this is 2010 when i decided that i was gonna try and do it in um, coconut grove the old one yeah, yeah. the old one yeah, and yeah. i didn't know how it worked we just showed up i'm like so can i go on they're like oh no you have to call weeks in advance um get and an the, opening and then you have to have, have, to have 10 people who show up just 10 people just to see you and i'm like all right fuck yeah, there, had that. To be, there had to be 10 people that showed up fuck and that. when you walked in for the open mic uh, they were like, "Oh, who are you here to see?" Like, what the fuck? So all the comics that were there like, were like, begging. "Oh, put, yeah, put my name down, put my name down, put my name down." No, so that's, go that's how it is. That's how it is. And it, I'm it, like, "Fuck!" It's ten. It's ten people. So either you got to have ten friends or whatever, or you have to bark, which is cool. Like the people who bark, mad respect to those guys who just stand outside to the, in the places and just like, "Hey, free free comedy show. Use my name, free comedy show." Uh, but. It, ten, the fact that the improv makes you bring ten people means that I'm never going to do it. You know, like I, I just, I don't care enough. But I know? know four places in Orlando where you just show up. 
Well, there's places we show up here, dude, but those are just bars, you know? It's just bars. So we have a friend, uh, Jesse, who has been on the show. Or, uh, we call him the platypus because he is a uh, legal immigrant, half black, uh, army veteran, and half, a huge... Half Swedish? Uh, Finnish? Finnish. Yeah. And he's, and he's like eight feet tall. Finnish what? <laughs> Bless you. But he... Uh, <laughs> And he's a huge Trump supporter, but he works at a uh, he works at Jada Cole's. Yeah, and uh, he started a podcast for the bar they do on Sundays. And I think I really feel like you should go there and bum rush him uh, on Sunday and just show up on his because he has a whole section of, of, of their podcast where they let people from the bar come up and talk and shit. I say you go up there and just take over and start talking. Yeah, just, yeah. just start running a bit. It'd be cool, man. <laughs> it's because uh... I think he Facebook lives it too. Yeah. I tagged- Facebook Live is a weird thing too, man. Facebook Live is a whole new thing. I actually tagged you um on the show he did. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, because bookers and promoters and sometimes they'll be like, "Oh, we're gonna live stream this on Facebook Live," and you're like, "Well, thanks," because those are saved too and stuff. So like, it's like, so if you bomb, you're fucked. Not only if you bomb, <laughs> no, you're you fucked. It's get- also like you're burning my material. You get nothing for it. It's out there. Yeah. Yeah, it's- you're burning my material. You know, like. There's a reason Dave Chappelle has, like, everybody put their phones in a bag. The Yonder thing? I've done yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, uh, I've never, you know, obviously not for my shows, you know, <laughs> but for shows I want to go see, yeah. <clears throat> I, think it's a, I think it's a good thing for that. I, I Rogue, wish, Rogan went, maybe let's do it when you saw him. I wish more people would do that, because, like, my wife does that shit. We'll be at a show or something, like, a, uh, like or a concert or whatever, and she's pulling her phone out in the middle of it. I'm like, what are you doing? Put that down. Oh, dude. And she's like, well, no, I just want to look at this real quick. I'm like, fuck that. One, the light is ruining my fucking vision. Secondly, like, you're ruining the mood. Like, there's a thing going on here. We paid to see this. Pay attention to it. I'll come, Focus. I'll come back from concerts with my boys, and they'll just be going through their Snapchat or whatever, and it's just the whole show, and I'm like, you held your phone that entire time, dog? Up to record? That entire time, you just were, like, focused on that, dude, you know? Like, we just saw something fucking great, you know? Yeah, we you, like, you missed it. I like... You, you, you missed it. <laughs> so, I, I like going to concerts, but I'm not going to lie to you. I got to be in the pit. I'm pretty much like... Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, want to yeah, see yeah. that. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see this. You got to be in the pit? I always go to the pit, dude. We always go to the front. <coughs> Last concert I went to... Uh, we we went and saw Travis Scott, who's m- notorious for like crazy mosh pits or whatever. You know, it's he, this guy outside. We were walking in, and he saw us, and he was like, "Hey, man, you better take your friend there to like the edge of the end, you know, of the pit." And we were like, "Nah, we're good, dude." And we were fucking so close to the stage, dude. You know, like we were like. So, so fucking close. We were like three people. Like, if my boy really wanted to be like, dude, my friend's blind. Could he get to the front? We totally could have, you know? <laughs> uh, so, I, I'm all about the pit because I feel like if I'm not, if I'm in the fucking seats or whatever, I, it feels like I'm watching a YouTube video almost. You may you know? as well be home. Yeah. Like, I, exactly, exactly. I might as well be listening to the album on, on my phone or whatever. So, the pit, I can feel all the energy and stuff. And I'm not going to fucking get that hurt, dude. Like, you know? Like, it's just... Do you have the cane with you? I, I, I have the cane with me. So, uh, most of the time... It's, it's at least a, a visual cue to not hit you too hard. So, so, that's actually interesting. I used to just keep it in a hoodie pocket the whole time. Mm-hmm. But last time I did a pit, I held it to my side because I just sort of got thrown into the pit when I had it out. And uh, it did make people go, hey! Like, you know, like they, they just like sort of, you know bump me and stuff but like it's just jumping around fucking knocking into each other anyway you know i can do that i'll be all right that's a great like visual cue because i would see it and i'd bump into you but then i also make sure okay do you you fall over good no 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 no. well pits are okay so everyone has this misconception that pits are a violent like no angry thing only the good ones pits are no pits are violent but they're not angry they're they're it's like a family thing that's energy dude it's just energy and everyone's getting a good release and it's definitely the goal aggressive, to, though. The, it's aggressive, but the goal is not to hurt people. No, no, no. nobody wants to hurt anybody. I, I will it's, tell you, dudes who want a fucking mosh pit, there's nothing bigger than blue, like no bigger blue balls when they fucking go to turn around to punch the dude next to him, and he's a fucking blind guy. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "Fuck, what the fuck am I gonna do now?" Hi, how you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Dude. Just, every time I've seen a pit, someone gets knocked down. There's always, you pick them up. There's always four dudes come up real quick, pick them up. Like, I, I, had, I walked out of that last one, and I just had dudes being like, bro, I saw you in the pit. You're a legend. Because it's like, I don't want to fucking do that anything. Like, I don't want to be on the handicap ramp or anything like that. Like, I'm fine. I'm, 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 aside from not being able to see, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. I mean, I'm fat and unhealthy, but I mean, like, I'm, I'm like, good. You know, I'm normal. So, like, there's nothing. As long, I'm, I'm attached to somebody, and I'm just jumping around, fucking around, or, or like, it's cool. I like it. I like to feel the energy. Did you ever play uh, the original uh, Legend of Zelda? Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember the, that little hand that would come out and grab you in certain temples and like take you out? Yeah. Okay. This is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Uh, we were in a pit, and this is, uh, I think this is Bonsai 2001 with uh, Offspring. And um, we had just, we, we, we got in too like, tightly compact. We fell over, and my friend of mine, who's like ridiculously, like, I don't know, um, just a nice guy, just an incredibly nice guy, he falls on a girl. He's got like 10 people on him. He is pushing up as hard as he fucking can to not squish this yeah, girl, yeah, but he's yeah, laying yeah. on her fucking like missionary style. I'm kind of next to him. I can kind of see what's going on. He's trying to be so nice. Just such a good guy. Not, you know, yeah. you know, hashtag, you know, me to her. And then, and I still remember this to this day, a hand came out of nowhere, it's grabbed your boob, and then it went back in the crowd. I have no idea who the, <laughs> whose hand it was. I didn't see it attached to anybody. I'm looking around, but it was just bloop, and, and it was gone. Dude, that's that's another <laughs> funny part about pits is like, because you're all close together and stuff. So, you know, people are just squeezing past you and stuff. So it doesn't matter what part of your body you feel a tit on. You know it's a tit always. So sometimes <laughs> girls, Louis C.K. You know? has a bit about that. About, oh, that's a tit. I definitely felt a tit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's just girls pressing tits against my back as they like pass up against me and I was like dude what if this is the moment I chose to like cat call girls you know like hey nice tits because hey. that's the one moment I notice it why, know? why don't you <laughs> because they were on you you know that like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's wrong though yeah is me, it me too bro yeah Casio Cortez is elected now man I don't know who that is AOC Casio Cortez oh, yeah, I don't know. she's this hot chick she got elected to be a, a representative from New York that's yeah cool. She's super hot, she's super socialist, and like, anytime somebody asks her, like, how are we going to pay for all these programs, she's like, we're just going to pay for it. <laughs> she came out and said the other day, uh, uh, people are so worried about me being factually right, they're not concerned that I'm morally correct. <laughs> that's a great line. <laughs> like, that's wait, a fucking great wait, line, wait, dude. Like, just to live wow. and die by your fucking ideas, dude. <laughs> that's a great line. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, so... Uh, when she was running, you know who Ben Shapiro is? Yeah. Okay, so Ben Shapiro said, hey, come on, my, come on my show. We'll have a discussion, and we'll talk about it. And her response was not only no, but that Ben Shapiro was basically catcalling her. And uh, she, yeah, yeah. So it's this running joke that anytime somebody's talking about catcalling, we bring up Ocasio-Cortez. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> You are so serious. You get not, so serious, dude. Although I'm not gonna lie, she she is pretty uh pretty good looking. Yeah, chick. you you would catcall her, you know? Oh, absolutely, I would. And if I ever if I ever do see her in real life, I'm absolutely gonna catcall her. <laughs> People's rules of like 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 shit's not that serious, guys. You know, we're all just fucking around, like we're all a bunch of fucking idiots running around. Yeah, with, making like, mistakes and stuff. You know, like I don't. So you're saying we have to be. A hundred, you have to be, we can't make any mistakes, number one, you know, you can't make any mistakes now, you gotta be fucking on your toes, no mistakes, not only that, but you also have to fucking toe a line, you know, to, to even get anywhere with, with like, women and shit sometimes, you have to sort of toe that line of like, sort of, you know, talk, talking, whatever, sexually or whatever to them, to even get to that point, you know, Yeah. you have to sort of toe a weird line. So it's like, all right, all right, stay right there. Don't don't take one right there, right there. Don't take even a single step for you know. It's it's just like hard for sure, especially. Yeah, that's why I don't even try. Everybody can't meet to someone that's never talked to a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's so serious and takes everything so so. I don't know, dude. That when I that when level I, of perfection, or whatever. When I went blind, that's when I fucking I I was sort of like, 
worried about a lot of stuff. I was I was going through a lot and shit because I was like having all these eye surgeries. I was in a lot of pain and stuff. When I went blind, I did sort of just be like, oh, nothing matters. It's not that serious, dude. Nothing's yeah. that serious, dude. Yeah. Oh, I've been there. You that know? uh, 2011 when I that I, revelation I, point. Yeah, where, yeah. where I went. Well, yeah, yeah. It literally feels like glass is shattering. You know, your your your, your world is just like, oh, it's it's. I hit it's not bo- that big of a deal. I hit bottom. <laughs> I hit bottom, and I realize if you hit bottom hard enough and you survive it, a lot of shit just falls off that didn't really matter. Like, oh, I, I didn't need that. I didn't need that. Yeah, yeah. That, that. That was pointless. None of these things are important, huh? And I remember going, nothing matters. That's cool. Like, if nothing matters, then everything matters. But nothing matters. Well, what matters to me? What do I like? Exactly. Exactly. One hundred percent. And that, and that to me has just been jokes and stuff. Like that's all I want to do, dude. Like, have you ever have you ever seen the movie Fight Club? No. Okay, so <gasps> oh, uh, I would highly suggest listening to the movie. That's a good one. And then uh, the book as well. The book is is outstanding. That would be a good definitely book read for the me book. Read. Yeah, yeah. It's a. Uh, Joe Rogan the... uh, uh, had Chuck Palahniuk on. Yeah, oh, I know. It's it awesome. Was, he's dark as fuck. Do you hear it? But uh, I I didn't. You didn't? Okay. The. Uh, Joe Rogan, Ch- uh, Chuck Palahniuk episode. It's fucking great. It's so dark, though. Fight Club is one of the few few times where the movie was just as good, if not better, than the book. That's awesome. And uh, as I've gotten older, I have realized how much more relevant that movie has become. Like, as far as the message it gives out. Like, it's so funny. Like, you're talking about that, that, that revelation moment where you're like, nothing's that serious. It's okay. That's what that movie is all about. It is so. It, ah, it's so. You're funny. gonna die. Yeah, you're gonna yeah, die. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, Get yeah, over yeah. it. Like, <laughs> yeah, life sucks. Yeah, guess what? Everyone's life sucks. Deal with it. Like, yeah, man. you're like, no one's special. I don't even We're like when people are like, I don't know. Everyone, someone's got it worse and stuff. I'm like, yeah, man. But like, that doesn't. That's you shouldn't use that to invalidate someone's existence right now. You know, like, yeah. that's not. It's it, it, it's. You know. We're all just doing our best, right? Yeah. And we got to just keep doing that. And the, the people who are real assholes are the ones that go out of their way to hurt people. Like that, that's, and, 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 and uh, I'll tell you, it, it, it may be only because I am blind. There's not what? a fucking lot of real assholes, man. There's not a lot of fucking, like, dude, I'll, I'll give you there's douchebags and stuff, you know, but I'm talking real malicious intent. Not a lot of people have that in them, dude. To be really malicious, I think. Dude, dude, like, I guess criminals and stuff or whatever, but like, and even that, I, it's even, just stories. You you got to figure out stories and stuff. There's there's things they, that brought them to that point. Well, even then, a lot of them, I don't think they're being malicious because they enjoy the malicious part. They're they're being <coughs> malicious to survive. Yeah, they have to or whatever. They're, yeah. they're doing the best that they understand, given what they've been through. Yeah, and I and I have met some people that they're, are malicious to be yeah. malicious because that's what they enjoy. That's their thing. <laughs> And I have done that as well. And I got over that part. Like, because it can be fun to be malicious and angry and mean for the sake of being mean, but it's not beneficial to anyone. How have I been malicious? But I've done things where, like, I've been told not to do that because it's a bad thing to do, but I just want to see what would happen. Yeah. I, I, I don't get off on people's pain and suffering, but I'm not partic- particularly bothered by it either. I yeah. mean, you make guess stare at you in lingerie so <laughs> I, I don't make it's them. pretty evil i'm you, just kidding i don't even know what you look like i know you're fucking dude, hot as fuck, dude dude <laughs> you could be but I'm, he's not I'm, 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 I'm jesus man i'm art jesus yeah we okay so uh we went to jada cole's to go hang out with our buddy that does the podcast there and uh we're there and some guy at the bar who's he's it's obviously a regular like it's his bar he's like belligerently drunk like and they keep serving him and nobody's saying anything to him. He's walking around talking to everybody. And uh, he's very comfortable there. You can tell, like, it's his place, right? And they had a band there and a chick singer. The guy holds up his phone. They stop playing a song. And he's like, play that shit, bitch. And, they're, and she's like, that's, you know, that's not the right word to use or whatever. Like, you know, she gave him the social moral call out. And he was like, oh, I forgot, you know. Hashtag me too, whatever. And of course, he was funny though. <laughs> yeah. So me, Krebs, and our buddy were with start laughing, and we're in the back of the table, right? So he kind of gets shunned away from the front of there with his phone. So he comes walking back over to us, and he says something about, "Yeah, that dirty bitch." Da 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 da. And we kind of giggle, and he looks over, and he looks at Krebs, and he goes, 
Jesus knows. Over, Jesus over here knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I get it everywhere. I get it everywhere, dude. You want to know what's you know what's fucked up though? I will tell you. I go nuclear a little bit. Not nuclear of like, but if a chick is like heckling me or whatever, or like just talking, because chicks, <laughs> chicks especially, just don't give a fuck. Sometimes they'll just sit in the front of you and talk, and I'm like. Yo, I know you're there, cunt. Like I know, like I, I know that you're there. Could you not do that? Like I, 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 you get ballsy when you have a microphone in front of you. You're like, oh yeah, it's incredibly way more okay with it. Incredibly empowering. Yeah. Do you ever call them out? Like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. I'm like, oh, could man. you not? I can, I can hear your conversation happening right now, dude. Uh, I will. Uh, I've had drunk dudes. I had this drug dude one time, and my friends were with me. I was tripping, so it was even more of an uncomfortable situation. But uh, I had this drug dude just like grab onto me and be like, "Hey, man, you know, you know," and just start whispering like nonsense into my ear, almost, dude. And I was like just trying to get space or whatever. Even my friends were like trying to. Uh, I, I genuinely had the thought. I was like. If this dude tries to kiss me right now, I might have to punch him in the face, dude. Like, I might actually... Because that's how fucking stupid I am, dude. That if somebody's like, yo, let's fight, I'll go, yo, let's fucking go, bro. All right? Like, I'm fucking down to see what happens. I don't give a fuck. Your punches aren't going to do shit to me, dude. Like, I, like I, I could... That's fine. I could take a punch, dude. I I'll, I'll, I'll don't care. You know what sucks? Okay, so for a situation like that, though, you don't even know... If he's got five, six guys with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it doesn't matter. You punch a blind guy, everyone's on the blind guy's side. All right? I'm just baiting it in. I'm just trying to fucking bait it to happen, to be honest with you. And then you get the guilty pussy afterwards. Yeah, dude. No, yeah. Just like, oh, my God, I can't believe he did that to you. And I'm like, that? That was nothing. <laughs> what are you doing later? Yeah, yeah. What's up? I bet I guess your tit size by feeling. <laughs> Oh god, that's too good. Yeah, it's silly, man. It's wild. I can't. I can't even imagine. That's. It's so go, much. Just going blind, like I can't imagine. That's, yeah, that must have been. But if but wild. if you are but if you are gonna go blind, you should do it your way. You gradually, yeah. like you sort of ease into it. It's kind of fucked up, but it's like also. No, easy. I had eighteen years of video games before I went blind. You know, like. Video games are great, you know, like or, or and or things like that. You know, I was fine. I got to see por porn, like you said, and stuff. I was pretty like okay. I did things in my life and stuff. Do you have, so? Okay, so you said you listen to porn now, right? Yeah. Do do they have, okay? So for listening porn, do they have like you hear the guy too? No, it's just chicks. That's why I like it. It's just like it's usually like, solo. What does he need the guy for? Yeah, it's, exactly. It's no, just solo weird. usually. It's that'd just girls weird. like with like toys and things like that. You know. Uh, so you hear the, mm, the worst part is you know how like you know how like yeah you do sort of and you just, <laughs> it just sounds like they're cooking macaroni they're like stirring it and shit. Oh shit! They're like, dude, are you? Uh, yeah, are you sitting in Jello right now? Uh, no, but uh, <laughs> it's funny. It's it's fucked up. You know, like because you know, you think porn sites are fucked up, and you're like, oh, dude, this is so gross. This is targeted towards fucking. The grossest men, and then even on the audio porn, they're like, "Mommy fucks," and it's just like, "Why? Why? Why is this the thing?" Mm. Like, monster girl gets raped, and I'm like, "What the fuck are these tags, dude? <laughs> what are these clips? I'm not clicking these." Who is listening to that? Yeah, yeah exactly. Brought to you by Audible. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, like, so I'm curious for so. The, the the audio porn is that like a uh, is there websites for that like yeah there's like websites and shit so there's a whole like market for that I guess yeah, well I mean all the blind even people, on but... Reddit really uh shout out to slash Archon wild audio yeah seriously yeah it's like where I get most of my content from oh wow yeah so shout out to like actual fucking Reddit users posting things oh that is super cool I you guys could be porn that. stars but you're not. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I, okay, so I used to go to, to Gone Wild regular all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then... No, like, this is just audio. It's just audio. Oh, wow. That is super cool. Yeah. Do you know what Gone Wild is, Krebs? I don't. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, you're about to learn. So... Welcome. Wel welcome to Reddit. I've got... Oh, yeah. I don't go to Reddit. I yeah. wait for you to send me links to Reddit because Reddit is a deep, dark, dirty place, and I'm not going to wait there well, alone. No, it's fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. It's a, it's a lot cleaner now, and I don't enjoy it as much. But Yeah, man. They, they took off our fat people hate subreddit. Yeah. 
Yo, they, they took got, down the incel stuff I saw too. They had uh, there was one. It's called "I'm Going to Hell for This." It I'm was, going to hell for this. Was the greatest subreddit ever, ever. dude. It was, it, they, they <laughs> so good. It. Even the blind guy knows it. It was so Fuck. fucking good. They made fun of everything. They gave no fucks and just the best jokes, the best dirty shit. Like there was, there was no limits. Anyway, but uh, yeah, they got they. Reddit got bought out by some companies, so now they, they went corporate. They're still, and they're they still, cleaned up a bunch of shit. They still got shit, though. They still got shit. Because you can still log in and see most of those subreddits <coughs> if you're logged in and subscribed or whatever. Yeah, but the yeah. content is not there yeah, like yeah. it used to be. It used to be free-flowing, and there was new stuff constantly. But anyway, so Gone Wild. Uh, Fantastic the, invention. Yeah. <laughs> the Gone Wild subreddit was uh, Reddit users chicks posting pictures of themselves just naked 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 pictures just posting naked pictures <laughs> so it's just like today this is my picture today it's just yeah. tits yeah and some chicks would uh do like whole photo shoots yeah, and stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and playboy uh, like shit yeah like want to be playboy ch- stuff like like one you're not that sexy two you're hot but you're not you're not supermodel sexy but yeah totally banging no Thanks but it's perfect for Thanks sevens for dude it's yeah, perfect sevens, for sevens eights all day long but uh so i imagine gone wild audio is just them <laughs> Make yep, a noise. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's all it is, dude. Like I said, it's them pretending. Okay. So uh, I worked at Walgreens for like six months. I worked in the photo lab, uh, and for some reason, people and this is 2012, 2013. Um, people would still bring in these the disposable cameras. And this one really super, super cute girl brings in a camera, so I have to pull it apart and develop all, all the film. But I have to go through all of it, each picture, to make sure it's not fucked up or. Any objectionable material. I'm supposed to throw out the objectionable material. But on this day, um, I went through all the pictures, and it's all just like her Is this hang- the day you decided God does exist? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. That's a different story. Um, but I, I, I'm going through all these pictures. Now, now this, this girl is super cute. I've seen her come in, and I've seen what she looks like on the pictures. And right at the end of the roll is her sucking a dick. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. I'm not supposed to process that. I'm not. But I fucking hated this job, so I did it anyway. So I, I, I did her entire role, and I put it second. Like, uh, yeah, so, yeah. so when she came to, to like pick it up, she's going to see it, but it's not going to be first. She's going to go through j- j- just to make sure you know she's get, getting her money's worth and whatever. But, but I, I'm watching her go through it. I'm just staring at her. But like completely like, like pan face, no emotion. I'm just like, is it okay? She goes flip, flip, looks at me. Looks down, looks at me, and shuffles her ass out and didn't even fucking pay. <laughs> and that's okay. For real? <laughs> she didn't pay. By the way, I made a copy. <laughs> uh, I've got it somewhere. That's great. She was hot as fuck. And that dick was tiny. Nice. <laughs> that dude doesn't know how lucky he was. Nice. <clears throat> so, uh, we're just over two hours. Um, Seriously? Yeah. Shit. I went fast. Yeah, so, that was super fun. This was super fun. Do you have any uh, final thoughts before we go? No, man. Uh, just thank you guys for having me. This was super fun. And then uh, if you guys want to follow me and my three, me and my uh, two comedian friends, funniest motherfuckers in the world, we're building a school bus into an RV in my backyard. Follow us at Scheme Supreme on Instagram if you want to uh, get all the updates and stuff. We'll more, have more stuff for you soon. I'm already following. Yeah. Already following. I'm uh, doing that. So, so is our band page. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you can if you like our uh, band page, you can uh, band practice podcast. You can uh, we'll follow us through there. Yeah, leave us a comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, all right, yeah. bye.